Leave so, me. really last time on the Dynamics of Good and Evil, Talek, the Wabbit Paladin, Rania, the Halfling Druid, Dashkin, the Barbarous Dragonborn, Bundle, the Tabaxi Ranger, and Mephisto Bard Feliana had been freshly released from the Fey Keep and left for new adventures. The crew spotted a bandit gang in possession of a stone giant, and they bravely ran away. They made it to a hostel and destroyed a room with a sleet storm, then bravely ran away again. The party made their way to Trut, where they traded in some treasure, picked up some items, searched for an elf named Fian, then bravely rode some horses. Rania messed with his berry craft, causing one to engorge dramatically, and inadvertently set Dashigan aflame with a handful of mystery berries, patent pending. The group arrived at Fort Lippy by evening, and made their way through the fortress city to the Crossed Cups, a burlesque club, guarded by Dengate. An acquaint a goblin acquaintance from early in the adventure who had somehow graduated to becoming a hobgoblin acquaintance who let them in after delivering some ground rules. The party then witnessed the tail end of a karaoke performance by a white flippered penku and now he returned to more adventure potential with the dynamics of good and evil. Phil's just like, wow, she did a really good performance. Bundle's <laughs> applauding. Same here. Yay! Yip, 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 yip. Yip, 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 yip. So, nice. yep, you guys have made it into Fort Lippy. You are currently in the Crossed Cups Burlesque Club and a white flippered panku with a broader than usual chest. Like, just, this is a big penguin kanku. So, uh, she is. Let me see, you're roughly. Five foot six? Five foot seven? Damn. Everyone is goddamn taller than me. <laughs> eh, don't feel bad. I'm three foot ten. Five I foot three. I the one to ask the question. Someone else asked the question. Five foot five. She is exactly five foot five. By two centimeters. <laughs> is, it, is that the fort commander? I believe so. Uh, yells percep out. Hey, perception checks you? through this loud and rowdy uh, burlesque club. Nah, damn it! Yeah, I was about to yell out. Hey, are you the leader? Twenty-two. Twenty. Seven. Hey, uh, seven. <laughs> Double twelve. Twenty is currently like in the crowd. Like you see her hand sticking up, but then you can't see her here at all. That was deception, Dalek. Oh, oh, I thought that was... Specific. What's your charisma what? modifier? To be fair, they do... You mean wrong. wisdom? Uh, oh, wisdom, yeah. 12. I think his wisdom your is wisdom's 12? Deception. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Vundal and Ryan are the only ones who don't really hear anything over the... Oh, yeah! This just blends together into a noise, but Talik, Fell, and Dash managed to hear out, You got this, Commander Faye! You rocked it! Yes, you did! ha <laughs> ha Commander yeah, Faya, how do you spell that? That's the C O Fayette. <laughs> and she's just she's a leaps she's off a the white stage white, white flippered <laughs> penguin kenku. Very fuzzy. White all right, white oh very fuzzy. I'll add that to the description. Uh she has a neat sort of fish hook type bill. And in place of eyebrows, she has twin scars, or you think eyebrows would be. Either you can't tell if they were cut off with a dagger too bit too deep, or they were burned off. You're, it's a bit of a distance. You really can't tell at this point. And she just immediately leaps off the stage, crashes into a table, steals one of the flagons from that table, and then immediately chucks it back and just slams it down on the next table in front of some very surprised uh, burlesque workers like Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah I'm ready for that are you and she's she's just polishing off her her big long flipper fingers and just uh, stretching dash again will nudge bundle and Beliana and point at the penguin thank you seems to be a lady uh, Let's go. All right, let's do. Uh, uh, let's go introduce ourselves, Wendell. We can do this. Perhaps Follow we should up offer her a drink. What? Perhaps we should offer her a drink for her success, even though she's probably nice and playful as it is. Because knowing how she had already 
gotten her 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 big fail of one already. Wouldn't hurt to give her another. Yeah. Alright, drink first and then uh, then her. I go to look for the barkeep to get a few drinks for us as well as an additional one for the Kinku commander. Hmm. Okay, so you guys are the dash is just falling, but no Pelion is lead. Yeah, like uh, we went to the bar to go get drinks first, and then we were approaching Fiat. Oh, hello, dearie. Crap. Commander Fiat. Sorry. Yeah, I just don't have any good ambiance for this. Criminy. Oh well. So yeah, it's 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 settling down now that the performance has ended. But the the bards go back to playing some of their simple guitar and lute songs, and the the commanders just edging up, stretching. Uh, she bends over to adjust her boot, which had like s slumped a little, and she just uh, and starts heading off towards uh, the uh, facilities. Huh. Oh, wait, the facility? Wait. The bathroom. <laughs> okay, good. I th uh, I didn't do research last time, so... <laughs> <laughs> no need to do research on that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she moves her way out to uh, this, the, the the washroom. This, you hear a light belch coming from her direction as she saunters toward the toward the swinging doors that differentiate uh, male, feminine, and family restroom. Oh, they have a family restroom. Really nice. Dash looks to Feliana and Bundle are either of them gonna try to get get her attention. I think it's best if you wait till she gets out. Yeah, same here. Besides, I don't even think I can go in there, he says, looking at where she went. And I can, but... I'll just be yeah. <laughs> I have not shared a restroom with another woman, I'm kind of scared. But, no, I have shared a restroom with another wo uh, woman. No, I, I have I just... not yet. I, I have not crossed that line yet. Not sure yeah, rem that. remember, Rodney is still new to being female. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I have girl parts now. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Okay, for now. Uh, so I guess we just wait for her to come back. Yeah, just grab Pretty drinks much. and wait for her to come back. Bundle got Dash in a water. Dash is sad. <laughs> oh. You you you, you, aud you hear him audibly go oh. Dash, we've been, we've been through this. I can't. I can't. I don't think I can trust you anymore. My uh, wallet, our wallet, cannot trust you anymore. <laughs> nah, it'll be, it'll be fine. Dash is just straight up grounded from drinking. <laughs> Hold up, guys. B uh, bundle, you can't have any beer, Dash. The cat. Rania goes up to the bar, and uh, he, he tries to wave down the bartender. Alright, there's a... Alright, there's a, uh... Bespectacled human man behind the... behind the counter. Oh, hey! Hey! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Uh, uh can I... Can I get, uh, two... two uh, what is there? What do you got for drinks here? We've got all sorts of things. We've got the beer, the ale, the wine... Uh, I, I think I would like, uh, two ales for now. Uh, I, 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 uh, yeah, uh, two ales for now. I will be coming back to get more of them. Two ales. There's a brief calculation. That'll be one silver. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. One silver. Uh, she puts down one silver. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Dash just sulks drinking his water. Mmm, hydration right. doesn't taste as good as beer. No, uh, Indeed. Did you look at the ale? Yeah, you got yeah. you got two mugs of ale. Okay. 
Deep, uh, run ya, head over. And then, hmm. You looked over at Bundle, you looked over at Dash. Hmm. She clicks her tongue. Oh, oh god! Do I have to roll to assist, or do oh, I even, am I? I'm not even gonna. No, no, I'm not even gonna no, try. Cause wait, I'll what think, is he trying to do? I was <laughs> trying to sneak over, uh, sneak. Uh, uh, I I tried to sneak Dash and get a drink. All right. Uh, you pass right in front of Bundle, just carrying this these two flagons of ale, and you stand right behind Dash again, and he sees you. What? I got you a drink. I'm gonna give Bundle a chance to respond. If he breaks something, you're paying for it. He says before chugging his drink. You know I don't have money. Yeah, Whoa, Charles. Whose problem is that? It. Whose problem is that? Then. Whose fault was that? Dash, you know, just blink and accept the ale. I know. He won't try to fucking power through it though. He. He, he, he'll at, at the very least understand, yeah, I've been breaking some bars quite a bit with my drinking problem. <laughs> so he'll take it slow. And Talos oh. would sit there at the table just watching, like, this might go bad. I'm gonna Run. watch. So Ronnie's, I was gonna... head, Ronnie's head peeks up over the edge of the table. Her eyes slide over Talik. She slides in the other beer. I don't think Talik okay. was grounded from booze. He is not. No, he, he's not. Talik can actually drink and not destroy things. Oh, trust me. A rabbit can still destroy stuff when they're drunk. Uh, maybe so, but you haven't been to every single bar and or inn we've been to and have destroyed something. Find out. Yeah, unlike Ty you, four times. You, I have a record of four at the moment. Yeah, I've been keeping track. You cost us 58 gold, Dash. 58 gold! <laughs> I was just gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna go get some wine. <laughs> All goes over to the to the barkeep. Uh, excuse me. Hello. Can, uh, may I get a flagon of ale and some wine, please? Alright, that'll be... Uh, two silver, please. Oh, exact uh, change. Nice. I think, I think Pawn is having trouble hearing Granny because of how quiet he I boosted him a few oh. minutes ago. Okay. okay. She uh, puts down two. Yeah, yeah you, your mic is worse than usual tonight, man. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll switch over to the other mic then. Hold on. She puts down two silver. Thank you. This goes to two taps, puts a flag under one and a nice little goblet under the other, and is like. <laughs> The, the, the ale is very dark, and meanwhile well, the wine is a rosé, so it's just, Ooh. they mix together the red and the white because they felt cheap. So there's just plops both in front of you. There you go, enjoy your evening. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, uh, and she takes, uh, takes them both and she heads on back to the table. She's sipping, uh, she's sipping the wine, but she's not touching the flagon of ale. How's um. this? Seeing as how everyone's getting their drinks, um, first off, Bundle's gonna go to the bartender and ask, "Do you so? Well, first off, is it okay to smoke in here?" Yes, we ask you stick to the uh, the aerated corner, and he points to a little like terrace area just over, just off the side. Okay. That being said, do you smoke? Do you sell anything to smoke? Okay. Hmm. Glances left, glances right. What are you looking for? Bundle is now like, okay, uh, cannabis? <laughs> Roll for cannabis. <laughs> Roll for drugs! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, he. He. he He... Alright, I got some dragon's breath here for you, but it'll cost you a few gold. Well, I've, I've got money to spend. How much? I'm not looking for, my, for a whole lot. Just enough to 
afford to fill up a cigarette. Just one cigarette's worth? Wow, we. Uh, that'll run you about nine gold for one serving. Jesus! Mundo, can I remind you that we're here on an episode mission? I know this. <laughs> I... And Bundle pays the nine gold. And he hands you a flagon. And it's, uh, enjoy your uh, sustenance, sir. Much appreciated. And he walks away and then goes over to Rania. Mm. Uh, I need to ask a favor. Eh? What's up? You, you still have that big pouch of cash, don't you? Uh, she looks into her pack. How much is left? I have stolen five cigarettes worth. Um, yeah, I probably still have with my, with my pesh. Uh... God, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, smoking pipe... Mm. Ah, pesh. Um, so I probably have, like... Uh, um... Are this, is this ounces at this point? Ten ounces? How much is an ounce? Do you... Probably one ounce left or something? I don't know. Yeah, maybe an ounce, ounce and a half. Yeah, I had like two point... Uh, I had uh, uh, one... Uh, zero point two five. So like a fourth of a pound, I think. Is that how that works? I think so. Yeah. Uh, and um, I guess I have like one pound of it left? No. No, no, no. Uh, I am bad at math. Okay, let's, see, let's, see, let's, see, let's say I have enough. Okay. Yeah? Sure. I still got enough. I am only asking for three grams of pesh. Sure. Did you give it over? Alright, knowing how much it would typically own this to a cigarette, Bundle takes the, the flagon, opens it up. How much does he see in there? In the flagon? Yes. There is a tiny, like, like saltwater taffy sized wrapper in there that you you touch and it, it's it's full of materia. All right. Yeah, it's full of Final Fantasy materia. Bundle, Bundle takes that out, takes out one of his uh, one of his rolls of parchment, and starts ripping up the corner to get a few decently sized strips, and starts rolling up his cigarettes with both the pesh and the dragon's breath making sure there's more pre- more pesh than dragon's breath in each cigarette mm-hmm. how many can I, how many of those can I make Survival. does Ronya see this weed uh, stuff that he has this that's a nat 20 plant <laughs> material of all the things <laughs> oh. of all the things you can nat 20 on <laughs> alright alright <laughs> You, you, know, you, you know how to cut a cigarette, so you just you managed to make you managed to take this one serving of stuff and spread it across three, four cigarettes worth. Damn! All right. I feel like we should do a PSA. You know what? You get five. <laughs> 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 Bundle knows his shit. He really does. Walter Bundle up in here. Uh, that's oh, that. We have to cook. <laughs> okay, with these cigarettes, Bundle knows that if he smokes all of them, he will be he won't be coherent. So he's going to take the time to only smoke one off in the designated corner that he told was told to go to. All right. Yeah, you head out to the terrace. There. Uh... Some gnomes, some, uh, there's just plenty of gnomes around this area. There's one halfling in some hide armor with a, with like a big long ponytail hanging down from his head. And there's a bun- bunch of humans just hanging around, chilling on their pipes. Just like, yeah, my, there's something, uh, something out those caves to the, to the west. Hey, swamp cave's not, 
Not really much worth, but worth fighting there and Almar. Yeah, mm. yeah. Hearing that, Bundle's going to first light a cigarette and ask that went into the note and inquire about what's going on. What are they talking about? All right. Uh, as this is going on, as soon as he goes out on the terrace, the doors to the to the ret washroom blast open, and there's the there's uh, Lieutenant Fayette right there once again. Just, oh, here we go. <sighs> well, seeing as y'all have, y'all have been good little boys and little girls, I guess it's time for your good CO to head off to grab some shut eye. And do all that um, paperwork I need to do on some uh, of you. Uh, glares uh, at, glares at a couple of women off in the car. Like, yeah, oh. a couple excuse of me, half elf women uh, here. Like, no, oh, God, uh, no. And she's uh, like, yeah. F- f- Fel gets up and approach, uh, and approaches her. Excuse me, Matt. Uh, excuse me, Matt. She turns around. Uh, and another thing. Okay. I. That your CEO appreciates you listening to this performance tonight, but it doesn't pay for any of you to be kiss asses. I'm looking at you, Tom. And, he's, and there's this guy with a goatee, like a, a red goatee, like, what? Fucking oh, you're Tom. really good. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, yeah I'm watching you. But I need to head off, and I don't want to be bothered till the morning. So if I hear you guys burn down the, the terrace again, you're not going to be having any extracurriculars for the next four moon cycles. Oh, yeah. man, not like that. So, that's right. So, anyway, heading off. Stay stay mm-hmm. lawful and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Walks over to mm-hmm. one of the women. Oh, by the way, yeah, you're, mi- you're missing a button. Just pulls a button out there. Look, help, half elf looks down. Her blood's done it. What? Uh, fell, uh, fell just got, uh, got to say, excuse me, madam, if, uh, you mind if I, if I have a word with you? <sighs> really quick. There is this I'm really not- tall white flipper panku in front of you, and she looks kind of tired and grouchy. <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? I don't really recognize you as one of my squads. You're not one of the new recruits, are you? No, I'm not, madam. I, uh, I'm Feliana Tadarel, and I'm an emissary for, uh, she, from the field she, keep. She pokes like a feathered finger down, down your costume. And goes like, hmm. These aren't I thought, regulation. I thought she was in normal traveler's clothes. Are you wearing adventurer's yeah, costume I, clothes? Yeah. Adventurous. All right, she just puts a feather figure down the side, like alongside your arm, down, down like the side of your torso. Hmm, those aren't regulation at all. What business do you have with me? You should probably show her the insignia. Well, did you want? Yeah, what's her? going to? <laughs> I, I imagine Dash was trying to help her, trying to go with her since Bundle wasn't. <laughs> Undo thought she was going to be taking a minute in the bathroom, but she uh, did. But you guys, you guys went all went to the bar. That's like five trips to the bar is about a minute and a half, two minutes. Okay, fair. Yeah, F- Fel just, uh, F- uh, Fel just uh, reveals the insignia. I'm an emissary for the veil- for the veiled keep. You're an emissary for the what? Veiled keep, in the Feywild. Am I supposed to know what that is? I don't believe you are, uh, are but. I was wondering if possibly in the morning. Look, me, look, if, if Benny me, Hanna, I, I, I appreciate Motherf- you. <laughs> you've got something going on, but right now, I've got paperwork to do. I've got sleep to catch up on before I have to put these guys through motions in the morning. Tell you what, you drop by tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, blinks her eyes. There's a little bit of bleariness going on, and I might even let you go back. I might even let you talk to me for more than ten minutes, because that's usually all I can spare. Well, actually five, because tomorrow is motions day. Uh, ugh. 
Well, t uh, ten minutes is already more than enough, uh, uh, Commander. Aye, she, she swings her finger. Aye, huh. Peculiar silver locket you got there. Oh, uh, thank you. No, no, it's in her hand. Just... <laughs> Wait, she swiped it? <gasps> Did beat her passive, passive perception? My past perception is 12. It's not exactly something high to beat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, uh, it's like, uh, uh, these are weird. Ah. Uh, mm, chalky. Her other hand's got a piece of blue chalk in it, like, ah, you can keep this. She takes it back, but she's like, the fuck? Does Pat, she still Pat, have the- Pats your head, some blue chalk just wavers down your face, and like, alright, see you tomorrow does she still have my... towards the uh, tail end of the morning, please. Do, uh, does she still have the locket? No, no. She hands it back. Like, ah, oh. oh, there you go. And she just messes with the chalk. The no star. I don't need this either. Here, you can take this back too. Thank you. Oh wow. And Fel just watches her leave, like wide-eyed, awestruck. Can I roll insight to figure out how drunk she is? How what? How drunk she is? Sure. <laughs> I can't tell shit. She's she, she was she was rocking around on stage. She had to be at least half blitzed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Of <laughs> all the things to that twenty on again. There was a wee bit of a twinkle in her eye as she was speaking to you, but you're not entirely convinced it was actually alcohol. Like you're pretty sure, yeah, she's putting on mostly of a show to keep them. Possibly keep the men, the men and women, at ease. Like maybe this is the cool down, but that's that's all you can read from that. As she saunters out, like, and kicks and kicks then... open the swinging door, and it's like, Maurice, and it's like, ah, coming, coming, Lieutenant, coming. There's this bearded dwarf, like, oh, crap, 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 crap. This saunt like runs after her, is like, coming, coming, Lieutenant. Just, like ducks under the swinging door, and you hear a splash into a into a horse trough, and he's like, "Oh crap, Coven!" That door sounds like it doesn't have a good. That time. was interesting. It was, and Fell immediately looks at her person to see if anything is missing. Uh, investigation. Please, 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 come on. Oh God! You're, you're kidding me. Seems okay, but oh. Oh man, what, what she, she could have, what, what, no. Wait, what, no, wait, what, you, you, what? Your eyes are kind of cross-eyed, like, what, what's missing, what's missing, what's missing, what's missing, what's missing. I was just, I think I need to sit down. I'm just going to sit down. <laughs> yeah, we should probably think about getting a room or two here soon. Okay. Yeah, just, uh. Uh, okay, um, yeah, she just says, like, you know, uh, one hand, uh, like, has one of her hands on her head, like, oh, okay, okay. Bundle, just like, what uh, the fuck okay, is before we move on, uh, Talik or Brian, are you guys doing anything during all this commotion? I'm mm -hmm. just sitting at the table, just take, drinking my, uh, drink slowly. She's just enjoying the atmosphere. She's uh, looking around at the people around, like a halfling walks nice. over to the to Talek and sits next, like, "Hmm, you're new around here." Hmm? Uh, it depends who's asking. Talek looks back at the halfling. No, no, we don't. We don't get much a much animal folk around here. Actually, <laughs> you s you smell like. <laughs> Is she just smelling it? I beg your pardon? You smell like fey magic. Mm. Ah, yeah, we had to deal with a bunch of fays. You're just gonna spill it right there, okay. Uh, she, her eyes go a bit wide, like, So I was right. Hmm. At least it wasn't my fault. At least it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Do we see this halfling and hear her? Uh, 
Dashkin, you're with Fel, right? Yes. And I'm sitting at the table. Uh, you can make a perception check with disadvantage since you're keeping your eyes on Fel, and he's kind of behind you. Uh, yeah. Ronnie can roll perception as well if he wishes. Can I roll perception, or would that be with disadvantage too? Yeah, you, you, yeah. you're too busy look investigating yourself. Okay. Ronnie, did you notice this, this this feminine halfling sitting next to him and just like hands up between both hands, like tell me more. I would like to roll another thing. I'd like to roll an inside on this girl. Okay. Damn it! Uh, tell me more, tell me more. She's tell, taking tell some information just... down from the rabbit. That's what you get from the way she's reacting to him. You don't know specifically what she's taking down. Hmm. Okay. I need to get back to her business. Did you get very far? So, 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 uh, what, what all do you spill to uh, the cute halfling girl? I'm going to tell us that we just had to do business with the face. That's, that's all. Just those words. Like serious business. I am sorry, but it's not my place to say what type of business we're doing. That's up to the leader of the group and. Pretty please blink some big lashes. Uh, I gotta try to figure out how to. Uh, uh, Reject her, dude! It's not that hard! Yeah, but that's the thing. Talik is a. Uh, Talik blinks big, big lashes oh. once more. Hello, character. Rania, are you sitting across the table for me? Yes, I'm watching this with amusement. Damn it, man! Help me <laughs> out! We <Where> call you, man. <laughs> Is that metagaming? Uh, yes. Not really. No, yeah, are you no, saying that's, this out that's loud? metagaming. Uh, are you <laughs> saying this out loud? No, I'm out of character right now. Well, that's yes. out of character. So, striking it from the rector. <laughs> So, mm. blinks like big lashes at, at Talik. Hmm. Talik takes another swig of Wiggles her drink nose. Talik takes a drink, well, drink, takes a drink, and... Rodney raises up her hands. It's actually me who had a little bit of business to say. I'm a druid, you see. I have to uh, deal with them on occasion. It was a little bit uh, of going on that uh, I had to parlay with. It was nothing that to, to, to do with. She she looks at you. That's nice. Looks back, Talik. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this... <laughs> oh God! This woman is smart. Damn. Talik takes a swig of a drink and oh, look at that! I'm out. Uh, be right back. Talik gets up and with this empty drink and starts walking Gets a away. little foot handhold on your arm, like I'll come with you. Oh, no. oh, oh God! Where's Bundle when you need him? Yeah. Get out of bed! Can't help you. He's currently getting high off his ass. All right, so Rania, so so Talik and the mystery half are going to the bar. To, uh, Bundle, what's going on outside? Okay. You didn't even ask so, my name, man. The whole time that Bundle's outside, he's gathering information. One on the area around them, and two on the CEO, while passing around the the cigarette he made with the people he's talking with. In oh, case they rock it take. That's well if, if he's talking with them and they can smell it and they know what it is, it, he would be inclined to do so. Kind of the oh, whole they, smoking rules. They all take a peer at you and they immediately know that like, Okay man, sure. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm on chat you are giving free information to a generous traveler. And he just takes a half half a swig and like Yeah, there's um it's a, it's a it's a, we usually have some trouble with the, the the trade lines over by the there's some caves by the south end of the master swamp. Uh, I use some minor cave bears not not too often, but recently there, there have been some people passing by hearing like a loud commotion, just and it sounds vaguely bear-like, but someone came by and said it it it, it didn't sound 
quite like a bear, and they were very concerned, like, if wondering if there was, like, some dire bear we should worry about, and we haven't recorded anything like that, so we don't really think that's the problem, but we're kind of busy, we're trying to, uh, uh we've, we've got a little bit of a procession going on for the, the Lord Durvin Hullhand up to the north, he's gonna come down and inspect us within the week, and, uh, we got that going on. Uh, good. The rest it's of them like confirm basically the that. Okay. Well, that's interesting. One little <laughs> freckle faced guy with one little blonde haired freckle faced guy is like, Yeah, but there is also that thing going on over the Spindlewood about that, that Arky took care of. He's like, Yeah, yeah, but Arky took care of it. Come on, it, it's Arky. He, he, he does his thing. He's trustworthy. It definitely seems like a creep of a sort. He says as he takes a drag off the road for a cigarette. Ah, oh, this guy knows his bears. Good man. Yeah, we seem to be stuck on bears this conversation. Ugh. I wonder why that Spe is. Speaking of dangerous people, I was actually wondering about your CO. What's she like? Blinks is like, oh, she's. Okay, she, uh. Not really sure if she's. She's kind of half and half. She. She's strict, but she's sort of playful in the oddest of ways. Kind of uh, keeps us on our toes. Do you mind elaborating? He says as he hands him the cigarette. Um. She's very good at sneaking out contraband as he stares at the girl, like, Yeah, more thing about- uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, no more for me, I'm just gonna- uh, Just- It takes- takes his ale and just smothers his lips and it, like, Yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah, she's just really talented in some areas, and, uh, Just swishes the beer all over his face, like, oh, God, oh, God. Takes down the flag and scrubs his face with the with the beer still in it. And uh and uh Yeah, she's she's absurdly talented in sniffing out contraband and just really keeping an eye out on all of us. We haven't had a we haven't really had many uh uh what's the word with the D? The uh the decisive? No, um Disturbances? De ah, crap, even I'm blanking on the word. Discipline! We haven't had too many disciplinary actions because she's. She, she happens to keep most everyone happy. There's a couple of small grumblers, but nothing really. There's nothing that will probably lead to a, one of those M words. Ugh. Uh, <sighs> oh, I see what you mean. So yeah. she's kind of a, not necessarily straight and narrow, but it keeps, it keeps the boys in line, right? Yeah, yeah, that. And, uh... And the uh, freckle-faced kid press it. Yeah, she's, uh... uh although... You, you, you better keep your stuff under lock and key or else you might find her way into her hands somehow. She's She's got yeah. really light touch. Fell the anesthesis. Oh, wait, no, Fel, fuck, Fel's not in here. Good job. Um... <laughs> Bundle just kind of nods and says, "Okay, I can understand that." Except he says, knowing that he's gonna have to keep all of his stuff in a very secure location if he doesn't need, if he if he doesn't want it getting ripped off from this person. Yeah, I guess that's a guess that's a good idea, I suppose. Um. Yeah, n no more for me. I'm just gonna go back and uh, get some more of the rosé. It was pretty good. Ah, uh, rosé, you should be drinking more barrel bourbon whiskey. That's the good stuff. Yeah, I guess <laughs> so. And, uh, heads back in to grab some more, uh, some, uh, some rosé, and they're like, oh, that's really all we got for you, uh, but where are you off to? What? We don't recognize you around here, these parts, but you're just passing through, you got some business, you got a bigger destination, what's going on here? Uh, doing some traveling, having to visit the forts for a certain employer of mine, and it involves t speaking with your CO more than likely. They blink a couple times. Like, oh, are you here on a? Are you here on like a royal business, or is is there like? Because 
really only with the royals really interact with, with the CEO. I mean, usually you want to talk with the with the the first sarge or the uh, maybe even the quartermaster when it comes to shipping. But strange. Why would you need to see the CEO? Can't say that I'm at liberty to just divulge information, about it. but just know that nothing, nothing too serious. It's not too serious, but he's gonna insight you. He's just gonna like trying to get a read on you. That is a twelve insight. So, what would he gather from what I'm saying? Then? Uh, just bare like surface stuff. Bears. But Bundle just says, well, I do appreciate the information. It lets me know what I'm going to be dealing with both here as well as probably possibly on the outside. Um, here, he says as he, hand, he hands him the other half of the cigarette that's not quite finished. You can finish this for me. Consider it a, a thank you. He glances at the cigarette, glances at everyone, like, uh, I always not want not. And he passes it to the next guy with a big, glorious, like, uh, tidy, but still glorious beard. And he's like, ah, good, good. And just puts it in oh, there. Oh, that... Urgh. Pell's internet is being a butt. I, I know. But once he gets done with that, he gives the, uh, the person he was talking to a, a good thanks. And then heads back to the others. And how... I made sure to do it to where that he's not going to be high... But do I have to roll a constitution check? It was only one sig? Only one sig, and he only partook of really a fourth of it. Yeah, yeah you're fine. Okay. okay. Well, while all that's going down, and I'm assuming Felion's fine at this point, Dash is going to see if anyone's doing contests of strength. <laughs> uh, it's, it's fairly quiet in here tonight. Most everyone, like... Like, the bards are really the chief attention maker. Everyone else is mostly just idle conversation. And, no, uh, no, and then there's, no armor and then there, Yeah, and then there's... You click around, and then you glance around, and you see the halfling currently uh, talking to the rabbit at the bar. It's like, oh. No, no, came Can back. I like this to see, like, oh, God, please tell me this isn't... Can I insight to see what's going on? Sure. Am I finally done fun fussing about, uh, fussing about- 19! <laughs> <laughs> it's a net 19! Oh, hi, pal. When'd you come back? Hey! Uh, mother <laughs> Yeah, she's been back for about a good 30 seconds. Um, oh, okay. yeah, you look at this- this happening, and she's just got these big eyes, and is just- She knows that I used them while I was just coaxing some, like, little tidbits out of- out of Talik. Do I get the feeling that I should probably intervene to keep Talek from saying anything he shouldn't? <laughs> no, I am keeping my mouth shut. I am keeping my mouth shut. I ain't, uh, I ain't spilling, Chief. I ain't I po Pokes like. him at each other. Come on, please, just a little hint. I just told you yeah, already. We uh, are that, doing that, simple that. business that which only the leader of the group can say. Uh, add that dash will approach and, and ask everything everything all right Talek Talek looks at dash again with puffy eyes of help me she's trying to kill me you want to just like oh, no, look at the halfling blinks big eyelashes hmm. sheepish grin hmm. okay <laughs> Rani, meanwhile Ronnie is just taking notes Real charisma save dash <laughs> Am I finally? Oh, am I fi finally? finally oh God, no! <laughs> oh God! Yes! I mean, she doesn't what? seem too dangerous. <sighs> but God, those am eyes I... are big. Those oh, are God. big for a halfling. Am I finally done worrying about like, okay, did she take anything? Well, you still got this nagging suspicion, like. It, it's still possible something's gone, but like, okay, calm, calm. Gotta, gotta move on. Gotta get, get the cat and uh, the rabbit and oh god, the rabbit's got a girlfriend. Wait, the rabbit? Uh, got, uh, wait, that's not possible. No. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> if you're trying to ask about our business, the rabbit is right. You would, you would rather talk to the leader of our group. Ooh, is he as put like lightly punches your knee, big and strapping as you, specimen? Runny is literally I... taking notes. Can I hear this? <laughs> Almost as tall, but he's a cat. There might be a slight blush to to dash again. Like just lighter gray patches on his cheeks, like. Mm. Yeah, Fel's just like, wait a minute. Oh shit! Can I insight to see what she's trying to do? Maybe. Like I'm not. Uh, I can't really. Like I can't really her hear motive, it. Sure. So. Yeah, yeah, that's just what like I was her. trying to do. <laughs> Can she roll for sense motive? An eleven. <laughs> you get an idea. This girl is curious, and she's kind of good at getting what she mm. wants. What's with those big eyes? Good God. Does she have Battle Angel Alita eyes? <laughs> sure. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's discomforting. Yeah. My brand. You can hear the drip every time she blinks. Oh God. Yeah. Oh God. Ah. Okay, you got it. Yeah, that, no if that's the practice. case, Dash goes from embarrassed to uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, oh, go ahead. Go no, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go, no, because I was gonna, I was gonna come up at this point. So you do oh. what you have to do first. Indeed. At this point, Phil's just gonna be like, "Oh God, this is okay." <laughs> Okay, and she's uh she's gonna approach. Everything okay? Everything okay here, guys? I mean, Ooh, here. pretty. Ooh. Looks at her. <laughs> Why was I completely ignored? I don't know. <laughs> I I'm I'm so offended right now. Maybe because you're a halfling. You're a female I don't think she read that you were with the group. <laughs> oh, okay. I just told her that I. I think she inferred from that that you also had encounters with the Fae, but... Oh, yeah. That uh, makes sense. Like, you're that one yeah. guy at a party, he's like, Hey, I also saw Mad Max. It was pretty cool. Yeah, like, sure, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> that was the way you worded it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Meanwhile, Fell's just approaching... <laughs> Meanwhile, Fell's just approaching, like, everything okay here, guys? Wow! Oh, that's the You're the prettiest hellspawn I've ever seen. Hellspawn. Hellspawn. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, she's not wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. She looks like, well, why? Thank you, and your very pretty as well. Looks save? back. To... All right. All right. Plus seven. All right. There we go. You get the feeling she's trying to dig. Uh, Fel looks uh, to the half uh, halfling woman. <laughs> Thank you, but I already knew that. Looks, uh, looks to Dash and, <laughs> and Talik. Oh shit! <laughs> looks to Dash and Talik. Everything okay? Single guys? eye blinks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be the bard at your own game. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> this halfling seems. You can't play a player. Curious. Dash was trying to be as polite as possible with that. If he had what? made a save, he would have back. said Josie. Yeah. About what? Fel uh, uh, asked them. Uh, asks them. Dash will shrug. He doesn't know what what he doesn't know what Talik spilled. Looks at Talik. What was she curious about? Bundle should have popped see? in by now. Yes. He really should have. Bundle, Bundle at this point is walking up like, huh, so I, I'm curious about what's going on, but I'm not going to engage just yet. <laughs> Keeping his distance, okay. You just he guys look so unique and out of place. I was just curious. I mean, I'm a giant oh, honey, black dragonborn. I'm dragon curious with... about what you're doing here too. I'm a giant black dragonborn with white tattoos. I think that's about as out of, out of place as you can get. We've got lizard folk who work with us, but not many dragonborn. Didn't I see like two when I came in here originally last session? Yeah, the yeah yeah, but those are the bards. 
Like there's oh. an elf, and there's a, and the other, the other bard is is a dragon bjorn, and then there is a, uh, who's like a dragonborn, a dragon bjorn janitor, just like keeping an eye on everyone, making sure the tables. Like he's got like a tool belt on, as well as like a mop and broom. Wow, Dash is actually kind of sad at that. <laughs> he was like, Aww. he was expecting them to be warriors. Oh come on, man! You, somebody's got to get a job, all right? Are you saying that bards are okay? I'm <laughs> 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 not gonna fix that one. <laughs> yes, yeah, I was just so curious. You guys are so new, new blood, new, bundled new in, stories. Bundled in pipes up. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Looks up. Look, blinks back at you. Oh, I assume this is the handsome, powerful leader. Bundle just raises a brow. Charisma save! Powerful! Uh. Come on, Bundle! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Bardic inspiration! Do it! Come on, Bundle! Not bad! Not bad! Alright. You, you, you like the fact you got a compliment. Aww. But. It's like, there's something nagging at you, like, okay, uh, should I spill my stuff to her? I mean, she is kind of cute, but... That's with those big saucer eyes, good lord. What genetics led to this? Well, <laughs> knowing that he's like, okay, this is, she seems harmless, but I don't feel like just telling everybody what we're doing. So he's just gonna say, Look, we're just here passing through, just wanting to do some business. Um, I don't think you were the one we're doing business with, so if you don't mind, I think we're just going to keep to ourselves. Oh, No fair when someone judges me and my looks, however breathtaking they are. Oh yeah, it's 5 out of 10? Yeah, perfect. Waves her, oh, waves her, lo waves her long curls <laughs> behind her. Oh. Taliana's fucking savage tonight. What? I uh, what? I uh, I have two versions of uh, of true neutral. That's Dick. Uh, uh, that's Dick from uh, from Peak Twins and and, Feli uh, and, uh, and Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> One of these is better than the other in the situation. <laughs> uh, but seeing as yeah, she's sauntering away, Bundle's just gonna look to the, to the group. Okay, who who blab? Points to Talik. Immediately points to Talik. Yeah. <laughs> all I said was just had to pay for it. He had business. That's all I said. Just straight under the box. Just cry a little bit, slamming his face into the counter. That's all I said. Honey, I can be hurtful when she, I she want to. She sits at the table five feet away from you guys and just sips a wine seductively. And Phil, okay. uh, Phil looks at her and gives her like a... <laughs> nice try, sweetie. Smart. A smile. <laughs> Do any of us have a silent spell? Oh. Are you raising your hand? I. One of the dudes from outside comes in, like, ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Ah. Uh, I pat's bundle, but thank you for sharing. Um. You, you've already talked to the quartermaster, right? Since I, I bet you're staying. Uh, no, actually, we haven't. It's probably the first. Person we need, we would need, probably need to see, need to see. Aye, you're gonna look for a short, curly-headed halfling. She's kind of obnoxious, but she's good people are. But she Slowly might. Slowly looks oh. at the halfling. <laughs> kind of like... You hear rocks as Bundle turns his head to the halfling, and Fell's just <laughs> like dainty no. finger wave. Like all the fingers are moving at different times. Like hello. No. Oh, Got so her curly so straw. <laughs> Do I, what's going on? I don't know whether to think this is convenient or worrying. Worrying. Ryan is just tackling over at her table. Worrying. <laughs> Meanwhile, Phil's like, oh After God, the way you guys I... look at her, she does have a big old... She she has a binder hanging from her back. Well, how I... did we not notice that? <laughs> I think the eyes were kind of... You fell into the void that were her eyes. Yeah, no <laughs> 
Italic still sitting at the counter, banging his head against it. I mean, it's a half-size binder, but still, she has a binder hanging from, like, on, like, it's not like a harness, but it's, like, it's attached to the center of her, like, waistcoat. Oh, that'll do it. And Phil's just like, okay, I insulted her, I can't really, okay. Tag your bundle. Ryan just sitting over at her table, just trying to imitate her eyes, just stretching them out as large as they possibly can go. Conte! Phil looks to her. Roll a charisma check? Phil looks to dad. Do it! I mean, you more look shocked than seductive, but it's like, hmm. <laughs> What are you trying to say, Phil? It's her first oh, shot. Oh, it's a dash. I fucked up, didn't I? Dash just shrugs. Oh. I, fuck, I fucked up, okay. Tell her, oh. at her. We're all dead, I tell ya. We're all dead. Bundle oh, turns to the people who are freaking the hell out and says, Dash is not freaking out. Oh. Talek's the kind of person that says abandon ship when everything is fine. Oh, Fel honey. just asked to talk to the manager, uh, but she just uh, but she just uh, was awful to the manager. That being said, Gondol just looks at Fel, looks at Talek, and says, You two just call it. Okay, okay. Ah. <laughs> Fred the rabbit does I have a concussion right now. Someone, someone stuff, someone stuff a crap got carried in this mall. Let me go talk to her. Fuck you, cat. You were into you. She didn't do what you did to you. What she did to me with those eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Were you violated? He says yes. as he walks over to to the lady. Uh, he he finally sits across from her and says, "I do apologize if I was right across a bit earlier." We, of course, are new here. We're not sure just who is in charge of what and who these who to whom we need to speak with. Holds out a holds out a well manicured hand and says, "Pleasure." Bundle's gonna be like okay, and shakes her hand. That's her name. Yep. Joy. Oh, 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 Joy. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Oh, Joy is their sister. Ladies and gentlemen, the shit has hit the fan. I'm going to hit something. Anyway. <laughs> He looks. He looks to her and shakes pulls out a business hand. card that actually says "pleasure" on it. Oh, Head, no. Head quartermaster of Fort Lippy. Well, How are you I doing am... this evening? You find our facilities welcoming? Well, the, the show earlier was rather welcoming. That's definitely something I I didn't expect to find here. Hmm. Yes. Oh. Uh. uh I was just prying because it is my it is my specific duty to keep track of item transfer, facilities transfer, and personnel who are currently inside the fort. She that couldn't have sense. told us that before. <laughs> yes. then, well then I suppose now it would actually be important for me to talk to you. You're probably the person I need to talk to first before I talk to the CEO. Do you mean harm for our CO? No, of course not. <coughs> Looks you up and down. Good. Good. That'll save you from a quick trip to the brig. Well, I don't feel like going to a brig at any given time in my life. Excellent. But I will. Sh shoots a I dirty will... look at Feliana. Hmm, I have to restrain myself in one case. But anyway, oh, no. I assume you'll need, uh, you'll need, uh, quarters for the evening. My being as quartermaster can I help you with that. That would be most, that would be most helpful. Yes, ma'am. And that's what they call them, quartermasters? 
quartermasters are usually take care of the supplies and lodging and barrack stuff. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just for weapons. Okay. No, sense. they take care of all of that crap. She, uh, she, <laughs> she, she, she like maneuvers her tor her torso her torso and and flicks the binder to where it lands up on the table. It has like an extensive chain on it that was wrapped around it, but it turns out like the way she moved it unwrapped the chain a little bit. Like, all right, she lips licks her finger. Like, all right, let me see here. We've got a couple uh, spaces open in the lower barracks. That will be closest to the furnace. That will be farthest from the furnace, but closest to the outhouse and the the kitchen. So there might be a little bit of odd noise every once in a while, but I can, I, I can fight you a few spots. You need one, two, three, there are five in your party. Yes, there are five of us. Oh thank God, she's not petty, like I am. <laughs> All right, uh, I can arrange for you. Oh, it turns out I have four right next to each other and one a little bit farther off, but it's it's still workable. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm taking that is, one. Where is this farther off one? Oh, it's just it's just closest to the outhouse. It's practically connected to the outhouse. It's got it's, well, we can see if we can get some cleaner hay into that uh, bunk before the end of the night. I'll go ahead and sleep on the floor, floor again. You guys can claim the four beds. Dash, you don't always have to sleep on the damn floor, says Bumble, as he loves the bridge of his nose. No, I just... I'm used to literally sleeping on the just bare-ass ground. No, 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 no. no. Please, my Drakenbeeren friend. Please, accept our hospitality. I, I will just have to draw a lot to see who takes the farthest room. Fe uh, Fel will just. She will approach like. Uh, she'll approach um. The, let's Are say, you well, listening that, to that, this um, conversation? The, oh yeah, I'm listening. Okay, uh, but she's gonna uh, like step forward. Like, yeah, I deserve this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I did. Oh good, it's settled then. Excellent. And well, just Fel, like you just dug your own grave. I know. Because I did, I did something bad, and I, yeah. Dash was uh, doing his best to make sure she didn't have to do that. We, we can <laughs> see about getting our our boys to get some cleaner hay down there before you park for the night. I hope you appreciate our quick service and give us a kind review on the card on the way out. Um, yes, uh, yes. So we got four uh, quality quality lower barrack beds and one uh remainder but it's insight can i tell if she's being pe obviously petty i don't even think you have to roll insight at this point she's enjoying a little bit of this that you know, might just... be giving a one out of spike uh, meanwhile uh fell uh, fell just you know like like hanging down her head, her tail's kind of like curling around her leg, her own leg. Mm. But uh, I, it's all I right. Suppose. It was. It will still work out. You will have a pleasant evening, no matter what. We will keep the 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 sink rats out of there, and the uh, well, the dirge spiders are typically not as active this time of the year. But uh, we can have a quick rundown before you head down there. I will send my it? team out there, and I hope you enjoy your stay. A pleasure okay. doing business with you. Uh, you will have a slight bill of which... Wait, do you have an Alvastian credit account? We do, uh, actually. actually. Yeah, we do. Okay. If you can give us uh, the, the name associated with the account, and we can get you on board. Uh, Fuck, you, what was you, that you, sheriff's name? Uh, no, no, you guys, you guys, when you signed the waiver, you included your names on the deal, so it will have a, an account with your names on it. Okay. Uh, well then, our name, you should find a name under a Bundle of Arrows. Bundle of Arrows to Baxi. Writes it down in the corner. Okay, we will build that account, and we will charge you from there for credit? 
and I hope you enjoy your stay. Will it be one night, two nights, a week? Uh, um, we're probably looking at the most two nights, depending on how most long Most two nights. Well, yes, that would be most manageable. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of the evening. I have to often uh, go correct the stable boys and send them off to uh, fix your rooms real quickly. We we keep them mostly ready, but we want to we get the final furnishings done when you get there. So, um, ta-ta! But wait, before you go, I wanted to see if you can arrange a, a proper meeting with the CEO tomorrow, if that is a, at all possible. Actually, Bundle, I um, I wanted to say, uh, I want to say, I actually did meet with the CEO, and she said that she would, that she would possibly, uh, possibly, see, uh, see to us at the uh, at the end of the morning. Oh, well, good for you," he says with a with a smile. Yeah, she what? came out of she came out of the restroom literally right as you left. Gotcha. Speaking of, we'll talk later about that. But, Feliana uh, unconsciously like checks her like pats down herself, like, uh, oh, it's still there, I think, I think. Do I see you're doing this? Sure. I'm gonna roll insight. Like, why are you patting yourself? Hmm? Uh uh nothing, nothing at all. Uh, you read that something spooked her a little bit. Are you when you mentioned sure? the CO to her? Are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely certain. Nothing at all. She, she's having bundle training PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> oh, well, Rami, you're familiar. No. All right. Well, anyway, pleasure. Hope you have a pleasure staying with us. And exits and just ducks under the the swinging door and just like you just see hear her you don't even hear her exit because there's still a bit of like talking and chatting and clinking of glasses like Arr! you sure you don't want me to take the room on the end oh. nah I I dug myself this grave I got it I got to rest somehow <clears throat> now that uh, uh, fell fell oh uh, let me take that room. I think it might be a might be a good safe haven for me. <laughs> mm. Runya now uh, gets up for a seat and uh, comes over to the group. Now that uh, the other halfling lady is gone, mm. what is this about now? Well, one we have room for the night. Two we have a meeting with the CEO. And three I have a little bit of dirt on the CEO. No, I'm not dirt. More just information. <laughs> no. As you say, say this out loud? Gracious. Well, mm -hmm. you know, it, within the within the group level of, of uh, volume, so... Group, group huddle some, volume. Someone would literally have to be listening in to hear this. Hmm. And I dug myself a grave yeah. with the yeah. quartermaster. Oh, and so! If, and if somebody is, I have a passion perception, perception of 15. Mm. All right, um, Bundle, while you're discussing this, you see a figure move up to the bar and just hold up a hand, and the barkeep just starts stacking mugs and mugs and of ale on top like a pyramid, like Dash seven no. on the bottom, six, five, four, and Dash. no, <laughs> this cloaked figure just they're like they have like a riding cloak on. And as they turn around, you notice it's a feminine figure, and they have this, like, blue, like, dark midnight blue mask on over their eyes. But even with the mask on, there's, like, a, a light glow behind the mask's eyes as this, this person carries this f septuple decker of, of flagons of ale over to a corner, set them down in a corner, and just start taking them apart and just like <sighs> what? As seeing this bundle was was talking, it just kind of trails off seeing this like uh bundle. Dash follows bundle's gaze. Yeah, you just see this Ronnie just figure too. in a writing club just going at this pyramid of ale. That is impressive. Look yeah, to I Dash. Can, I no. Can do that. I could do that too. No. <laughs> no. 
No. Yes. If we let you do, yes, if we no. let you do it, you're gonna vomit and then end up breaking a table or nah, turning nah, me nah. into a pile of sludge. No, no, no. He'll be fine. I'll give him berry first. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes me feel so much better. I'm sure I have some sort of berry that'll help him. As long as it's not the berry that lit me on fire. That, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that should have worked. I don't know well, why. While this conversation is going on, Bundle's gonna step away from the group and get a better look at this person that's just downing these drinks like a champ. Okay, perception check. Actually, intelligence. Uh, investigation. Mm. investigation. You're trying okay. to scout him out from across a couple tables away. Like, she's good, like, uh, 15, 20 feet away. Across three tables. Mm -hmm. Shit. Alright. Uh, besides the riding cloak and the mask, you don't get too much for that. You see, like, a light outline under the cloak, which you assume are her carrying items and her weapons. But you think. It, this does look like a traveler, so you assume that. But, yeah, she's just... Inhaling the mug, foam and all, like those mugs land down clean. Okay, um, seeing as how I'm not trying to sneak up on this lady because if she's armed, that would just be a poor, poor decision to casually walk up to her and say, As you, you stick walk out up to her, you notice that the tables around her aren't empty, there are two tables full of what you recognize as mounted royal guards sitting around her on op on tables on either side of her. Oh god. I, I don't go up as casually as it was before. I go up cautiously, seeing as how, okay, these are guards. These are very, very, very well-stacked guards. Damn right they're well-stacked. Uh, but... <laughs> okay, so you step up and... Once you're within about 10 feet of her, you try to step up cautiously and you step on a nail and it just tink! Oh! oh. Wow. Wait, which, which end of the nail? Uh, the, the, the top half, but it's still like in the pad. Like, okay. oh, 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 okay. okay. Well, that's still not nearly as bad, but ow. But it's, it's yeah. like sideways. It's like a sideways, like, smashed ah. nail. So, can I can I play off the pain? Yes, be a cat. Pretend like e e this was intentional. Because I don't want to meow and and like yowl. <laughs> sure, I am a I am a P I am a I am a gracious DM. What what do I have to roll? Performance. Sure. Okay, not bad. Yeah, it's... You play it off mostly well. It still hurts, there's still a lot of wincing whenever you... whatever you're gonna do. Okay. Well, seeing as how I got within 10 feet and that happened, I kinda wince and get my foot off that nail. And... Seeing as they're a royal guard... And they're all I looking at you now. I hold up my hands like I, I I'm I'm not trying to not trying to do anything guys. Just wish to address the uh the patron. One of one uh, of the one of the smaller ones stands up. You have business with the lady. I guess my tabaxi self is getting the better of me. If <laughs> if you catch my drift. Um Curiosity my, my, <laughs> might I might I inquire the lady's name if I am allowed? Looks back looks back at the rest of the guards, one just shakes his head, is like sorry, royal business. You must and plus it's it's kind of her private time. We ask you not bother her while she's looks back busy. That sounds like an important character in our uh, situation. Can I roll? Mm. Since I'm this close, can I investigate now? Sure. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Much better. Okay. 
So I'm rolling with the 19. D and D Souls rules here. So, uh, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you have found your sister, or one of them. Hello? One second. All right. Oh, so oh, that's okay. what you see. You see uh, the outlines of something you should recognize as a as a pair of firearms. And uh, but yeah, you notice the the, the way her uh, her fingers are displayed are also kind of curious. Well, seeing her garb in such a way, I ask, is she? Injured. Looks back. That, that looks that, back at them. At the rest of the guards. The guards are gonna like. Is she? I don't think so. No. 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 no it's the usual stuff. No. No. Like, no. I, I mean, that, that is none of your business. <laughs> I mean, it, it would. It would actually behoove me to at least see if she was all right. I mean. Me and my fellow fret travelers are. Stands a bit straighter. To... I'm sorry, but I must insist she is alright. She is enjoying her quiet peace time. If you wish to make an inquiry, please make an appointment with with the county seat of Zoran Redgrip. I'm gonna write that down. Hang on. Zoran Redgrip. Prince Zoran Redgrip. Hmm. Have we heard of Red Grip before? Can you type Red Grip? <laughs> well, then I, I albeit, now I will not, I will not uh, test the uh, the waters any further, gentlemen. I do wish you all a good, good evening. Your, and, uh, your patience and willing, willing, and you will is appreciated. Enjoy your evening. And bundled nods and turns on his heel and heads heads away like, oh man, that was interesting. What was that about, Bundle? That's royal. What? Who? <laughs> I don't know who, but that's a royal sitting over there. Wouldn't that... Wouldn't a royal be kind of important to talk to for you and Feliana specifically? Yes, but... Now is definitely not the time. You, you hear a uh, you hear a I... medium <clears throat> from the corner as like the as the pyramid bottom half shakes a little bit. She's like, but she just puts two fingers on the side and it steadies. Are you sure that's a royal? I've never seen any royals do that before. Uh, do we see the royal been, guards? They've all literally yeah. been like Derby and the they're, they're kind of shadowy, but you do see the outline of like. Armors and uh, they've all got helms on. So those are guards, all right. Well, no offense, Dash, but I am not going to try to muscle my way into talking to her while her guards are at the ready. I was just and wondering. I, I was just, just wondering if you were sure she is a royal. Well, the, a name slipped by uh, Zorn Redgrip. Do I was told to inquire to uh, that person before. Yeah, Talik and yeah, Feliana can roll with advantage. Everyone else, roll history. Uh, me, uh, I get a uh, history you, with advantage. You and Talik get history with advantage. All right. Oh, oh my God! I'm so, so sorry. Tell me, mm. Oh my God! What the? Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> well then. Oh, boy. Oh. Talik's kind of Talik's got a light buzz. He's like, who? I, I like. There was a bit of a swell in the noise by him. He's like, wait, who? Who? I, Why I, the hell would I know this? Torn Ted. Actually, Talik is still being tormented by those big eyes. <laughs> Fair enough. Anime like manga cutaway. There's like the big silhouette of the eyes behind him. He's like, oh god, oh god. That's his stand. Um, but 
yeah, all of you, the rest of you get this. Um, you know that Zoran Redgrip is indeed the high royalty of the humanoid kingdom in Redport. Ah. Uh, huh. Why the hell do I know this? Shit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Owl mentioned it once in a while, then... or you or you stuck around enough inns to hear that pass by. Hear ye, hear ye, Prince Zorin Redgrip! Okay. Oh, shit. And... Oh. oh, God. Okay. But yeah, the rest well. of the night goes by pretty fine. You guys gonna drink anymore? Nah, Not really. Dash will insist we go to bed. Alright, so after about half an hour of just chilling, you guys do make your way. Actually, before you guys head out, before the night ends, uh, there is a pseudo-dragon bursts through the, the swinging door to... <laughs> and it lands in front of Feliana, and it has a chest <laughs> attached to it. Uh, uh, um, uh... <laughs> Looks at the, uh, I, I. Does that chest have a note on it? It does. It has a tiny scroll attached to it. Mm. She takes Dash the scroll. And... Okay, yeah. Oh. Marnia yes. attempts to feed the uh, feed the pseudo dragon uh, some good berries. I mean, so Fell's reading one, the scroll. It's like, mm, 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 mm. good boy. You, you take you, the, take, you, you take the scroll. Take the scroll and I read it. In, and in common is written to my f sorry for the wait favorite customer here's the stone you ordered yours oh. yours in regards Dirk <laughs> oh <laughs> boy somehow inside of the note there's like a casket of ale no it just glitter <laughs> everywhere poofs out as soon as she opens it you're like whoa do we even need an inside to real for us not reading the message to realize this is for from Dirk because of all that glitter? Runny well, it's not orange, some... so... Runny oh. uses some of the druid crafts to blow away the glitter away from her. Oh, like, Dirk, yeah. you're, you're amazing! Uh, uh, it's everywhere! He blows away from her. P.S. I know. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Just amazing. <laughs> yeah, and inside there is... A a ring Ooh. with a a gradient stone inside of it. It's it's a, a it's has five sides, and oh and it's got lines through it like it was a star. So oh. and it's a gradient of orange and pink. And it's and it's just and on the back of the scroll it says. Yep, got yourself a good, uh... Mm. Mm. Uh. This is a three-use ring. Mm. So you can use this for up to an hour each time to study your materials that we provided in your kit. Enjoy! Oh, uh, let's her comprehend language? Yeah, let's her comprehend Elvish. Mm. Cool. Oh, wow. Sweet. And actually, it lasts for up to six hours each time it's used. Oh my god, okay. Run your rings over Talek. Dirk gave her a ring. Does that so mean that they're married? Talek responds, I find Dirk to be strange. Uh, they, they, people's customs, I don't know. Are they no, engage no, now? No, no. No, if if one person gets on their knee and proposes, that's a marriage proposal. Okay, so he did well, the ritual right. While this is going on, Dash will try to pet the pseudo dragon. Uh, sure, animal handling. Run your hands, uh, Dash. Uh, yeah, the it, Dash it, it, ex it accepts the scratches you give to its bat to its neckline. Yeah, you, one of these. you know that's the place where most dragons need the need the greatest of care. Gee, I I hope I know that, considering I am also a dragon. He he didn't know. <laughs> You'd be so pissed if Dash gets a pet before I do. 
and fe um, Felix to the Cedar Dragon, and she nods like, "Thank, uh, thanks for bringing it." Uh, it's got a little tongue hanging out. Hmm. You're a good boy. Uh, you could try an animal handling check bundle since you did in part of the herb earlier, so you've got to figure out if you know what to do. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Uh, you, you attempt to play a little sleight of hand with it, and it doesn't quite catch on. It's, it looks kind of confused at you, like a dog that's just that, like Aww. a dog that's been like it, that. You're trying to teach a new trick and just stares at you a little bit. Hmm. When you click their tongue, can I do an animal handling? Sure. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to figure out what it wants. be an insight actually okay yeah okay and my d4 yeah well like the berry you gave it oh uh, he um, hands dash berry you want to feed him sure that's will try to give a give a feeding get a berry a shot oh yeah it gobbles another one down okay, okay. Hey, we berry probably you give him? Uh, I give a standard good berry good it's too small to eat one of the butter berries. We should probably let it. Well, you've got like at least yeah. five different types of berries on you. So, I'm like, uh, which one did you hand them? I, I I'm keeping them categorized. You probably shouldn't keep the little guy and let him get back to uh, Dirk. Yes. <laughs> By the way, I have the giant berry counted as massive stoner berry. Oh, I didn't know how to it. Alright, so the it chomps down the rest of the berry, rind and all, and just lifts up its wings and takes off. Mm. Well now I can mm. yeah. Well now I can finally study the uh, study the material they gave me. Well, you Sounds good. I'm kinda wondering uh, if he can turn into one of those one day. Hmm. I don't think pseudo dragons have a very high CR. Now, the fact that they can fly is a problem. Well, yeah, yeah. I have to be level eight to fly. Ah. Well, you can always use flying as a scouting. Routine. Well, at the very least, he's seen one, so now when he's able to turn into one, he'll be able to. I don't know if they count yeah. as beasts or not, though. Oh. Anyway, Dash. Like I said, uh, Dash will be like, all right. Uh, we should probably go ahead to bed. We've got a long day tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I'll take my off the court room. Talek I... runs, scurries past Filiana and takes the uh, takes that one room from her. Uh, <laughs> literally just no, no. snipes the bad room. No, 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 no. She didn't give you any keys or anything. She just told you to meet her by the uh, by the barracks. Uh, I guess we do so. Yeah, we go to the barracks. <laughs> All right, you guys head off. It's 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 a quiet night for the most part, outside from the burlesque where the dancers are getting back on stage and it's getting a bit rowdy. Uh, otherwise, you guys head off. You make it past the what you assume is a general store and armory, uh, and then you make your way to the uh, triangular templar that is the barracks, and you actually pass an amphitheater. On the way there, and you're like, oh, oh that's interesting. I guess uh, I don't know what it is this time of night, but it looks interesting enough. And you guys make it there, and the pleasure's waiting there for you. Like, ah, treasured guests, excellent. <laughs> All right, so you, so you four points to Talik, Bundle, Dashkin, and Rania. You four, uh, you're gonna head down here to the left. And you're gonna have the middle four rooms. Uh, you can It's easy to tell because there's only six rooms down on this end. You're gonna have the middle four. Now, you, points at Feliana, you can follow me to your, to your special dwellings. Apologies, I will have to separate you, but fear not, you will see them tomorrow morning. Mind your ways, well, uh, later today, and... it is, it is 12.15. Run your razor hand. Mind if I come with? 
No, I, I just have to talk with uh, Fib, uh, her for a little bit uh, before oh, I go I to can bed. wait. Hmm? Uh, I, fi uh, I figured that uh, yeah, to make things expedient, uh, I can go with her uh, uh, and like help her get settled before wait. I go to bed. I can wait. Okay. I am going Grins to insight. Harder. Can I insight that? I'll just tell you that she's just. Oh, I can wait. Do your business, and then I'll, then I'll take her off to her room. Hey, Dash doesn't like this halfling. I, okay, uh, I mean, I kind of dug myself this own grave. Uh. I don't care. Dash is biased. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, uh, it can wait till tomorrow. All right. Oh. Um, uh, actually, uh, um, uh, Ranya, um, uh, just did Feliana, dead, uh, uh, down to her, uh, level real quick. Oh, Fel, uh, kneels down. What's up? Uh, do you have prestidigitation? I do. You do? Okay. Then you don't have to worry about, um, it being dirty then. I was gonna give you my hat, but it, it'll be fine. Uh, mm. Mm. thank you. The... All right. Now enjoy your stays. You guys, like I said, it will be off to the left, and I just have to take her around a curve. And she gestures down the the short, dark stairway that leads down into the lower barracks. Oh, this is for me. Very hesitant to split up from Feliana. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I guess we just head to our rooms. Mm-hmm. And Fel follows pleasure to her room. All right, as soon as they descend in, she's like, all right, follow me. And she actually goes to the right, out, still outside the building, like, dum -de dum -de dum Fel continues following, kind of like, you know, like taking at the sights, but... Takes a left around the corner of the building and just leads to an old wooden stairwell that leads also down into the depths of the lower barracks. Like, follow me, please. Dun, 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 I follow dun. you. Yeah. And it's, as soon as you hit the bottom of the stairs, turns immediately left and just pulls aside a curtain. Like, your room. And you look inside and it's, I mean, it's got a little bit of water damage from a puddle, but it's, she did follow up on, there is fresher hay on the corner for under the bedspread, under the blanket, and there's like a slight drip from the stairwell side, but it's not actually in the room. It's just the incline, the slight de-inclines gets like a small puddle under the corner, but it's not actually soaking into the bed. Your bed's actually right inside on, right inside to the right, rather than to the left where the decline is heading. Oh my god. It's all just nods to pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Yep. And if, you need, if you need to meet up with your friends, just follow down this hallway and take a left, and you'll eventually come to the same uh, same granite stairway. Enjoy your evening, and uh, enjoy your stay. Smiles, nods, and then heads up. Dun, 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 dun. I told just sighs. She's like, Yeah, I, I didn't do this to myself. Damn it. Hmm. Ah, should I try to do the planning? Hmm. Hmm. Eh. As nice as it would be. I have uh, no real door, right? I just have a curtain. Uh, everyone has a curtain. Okay. No, okay, so it's not so much as rooms as it is just like little cubicles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, am I the only one that's Yeah, you each door? got about like 10 by 10 rooms. Okay. okay. With like uh, bits of hay. Like, you peek in another room and it, they actually get military counts, but you guys get like actually like scrunchy hay covered by a pair of blankets. Hmm. Marnie gets ready to bed, lamenting her. Uh... Uh, her lack of the bear onesie, and uh, she'd actually like to uh, uh, roll on some sewing before she goes to bed. Okay. Uh, 
how long do you go at it? Mm, you said it was like midnight now, right? Yeah, it's just after midnight. Okay, I take about an hour, I say. An hour? It's so close. You just gotta put a few more finishing touches on and then it'll be presentable. Money bites their lower lip. Mm. Thanks. Shall. Mm, you say about another hour or 30 minutes until it's done? Another hour, hour and a half. Mm. Eh, I pulled that all native before. She finishes up the dress. Yeah. As soon as you finish it, you actually poke yourself with the needle on the thumb like, ah, crap. And oh. some of the embroidery on the bottom gets a little bit stained, but it actually complements ah. it a little bit. Like, little, like, offsetting. Like, hmm. Like, it's not terribly mm. bad. Uh, I'm gonna press the uh, that out anyway. Okay. Okay, so uh, that blood gun. Uh, also, I am going to use the remainder of my spell slot to uh, uh, to make myself some good berries. <laughs> I knew it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna like uh, calculate that uh, on my own though. You said. Uh, for second level is uh, 10 better berries and uh, 15 for third. Yep. Okay. Yeah, good berries. Okay, I'm gonna calculate that up. Uh, but, so uh, like after, what, 15 yeah. better berries at third level? Yeah, Wait. 15 better berries. Better? You, you could just straight up make better berries now? Yeah, he never uh, that's asked. what he said. Oh. Before. So, to... He kept trying to do druidcraft. Uh... uh Meanwhile, all of this the grand fell is just you know she's reviewing all like uh all like all the all the pan, uh, all like the pamphlets in in the little the book that that was given to what uh t looking at the kit or the ring that was given to you the kit and the kit I wanted to see like just like you know flipping uh like flipping through through it. how theoretically what long would it take for her to you know, like you know, study that with the uh, with the Copperhead languages ring. You would pull an all nighter to really get through the. Oh half no! Of it. Oh, oh no! I'm not doing it tonight. I'm just uh, just uh, having this in case for later, because. Like yeah. you get that, um, you could be able to breeze through it in about eight hours. Like the whole like course like six to eight hours you could probably breeze through but in order to study you would need at least 12 hours to oh god all right guys now and fell's just gonna head to bed try to get some rest that's yeah. right you guys are going to diplomacy without having read your shit this will be fun oh we didn't I didn't really have time, but Bundle, on the other hand... <laughs> yeah, that is true. Feliana couldn't read her stuff until she got that ring. Bundle's gonna take a good portion of the night reading. Okay, how long? Um, what time did we decide to head to our barracks? You... You, you got there between 12.15, but, like, just after midnight. Damn. Okay. Uh, okay. Rather than spend all night reading, I'm going to have him wake up extremely early, right at sunup. Okay. So, okay, everyone else is going straight to bed? Yep. Yeah. Talik too? Yeah. Talik, he ends up uh, setting up a fake version of himself in the bed while he hides it within the straw. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the rest of you get some decent sleep. Uh, bundle, uh, survival check. Oh no. All right, you wake up an hour and a half after sunrise. Mm -hmm. You were pooped. Ah, oh, shit. 
Alright, well, I don't really have time to, to truly study, so we'll just you're a little, get You're a little bleary-eyed on top of that, like, uh... When all else fails, wing it. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to leave you in college. Can I, uh, can I just, uh... Well, you do remember that, you, that you're not seeing her until, like, borderline afternoon. Oh. Like, late morning was what she said. So it's currently... Yeah, about 8 a.m. approximately. Yeah, yeah I fell would have woken up. up about this time. Like, naturally. Just yeah. Yeah. And Dash gets up, and I'm assuming we're all gathering up when we wake up, right? Uh, mm. That depends. Fell is Ooh. currently separated from you, technically. When you sleeping till 10. Okay. Dash will get up at 8 and wait for people to start, especially wait to see if Feliana drops by. Yeah, Fel would, um, would have gotten up, like... Okay, so the ring has three uses, and it can be used for... and comprehend languages can be used for six hours, right? I'm gonna quick edit that four hours at a time. Four hours at a time, and it has three uses. Yep. Okay. So just enough to completely study the entire thing. Yeah, to give it a thorough look. Okay. Um, Fell after getting up and getting re uh, ready and such, she would go uh, go off to meet meet up with the others. Wait, what? Um, I'm sorry, I forgot about the, the dress. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would be about three I or four. I asked you to, like, I'm not eating. Three or yeah. four, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, it took me an hour to start the dress, and then I, I did another half. Two and a half, so three. Uh, like, wait, two and a half? I think it was an, an hour an plus hour. an hour and a oh, half. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, three o'clock. Give it to me. So, yeah, seven, uh, uh, 10 a.m. will give me plenty of time to sleep. Yeah, Fel, you make your way, take the directions as she would, and yeah, you just pop out as the bunch of uh, the the fort guards in their uh, light brown leather armor just make their way up, like, uh, oh, morning for grub, and um, like scratching their stubbly faces and uh, just heading up the stairway while you're just sitting off to the side. Yeah, just waiting for waiting for the guys. Dash will exit his room and I presume see Feliana. Yeah. You see the shape of her over by the the entryway. Mm -hmm. How'd you sleep, Fel? Oh, uh. Wait, how was my sleep? Okay. Uh, I slept okay. It was, was quite a pleasant stay. Good. I suppose we're just waiting on bundle now so we can figure out the game plan for me too. Bundle starts coming up the stairs, still going over the notes of the pamphlet that he was given. Morning, Bundle. Yes, yes, good morning. He says as he, says he doesn't even look up. Oh, yeah. You... I also have to study that, but I got it yesterday, so that's why I didn't study. Well, I'll leave you to, I'll leave you to do it then. Thanks, Ash. And <laughs> and <laughs> and Phil will pull, uh, will, uh, pull out the the ring of comprehend El uh, of uh, comprehend uh, comprehend Elvish and uh, one of the one of the pla and pamphlets that she was told to study for the co uh, of the course, and she'll activate the, uh, the ring. And start to read. And start to read as, you know. 
him while they're doing the dash will wander and see if there's maybe any open for public use training facilities that he can use to pass the time. Well, everyone's getting up for maneuvers, so they're all in front of their personal majors and sergeants and like, all right, get ready for a lift. Okay. Dash will just idly watch that then. Yep. And after about half an hour of opening maneuvers, they set off for the mess for the mess hall. Oh shit! Right, food. Dash will try to figure out where to go to eat. Uh, they're all heading for the mess hall. Is the mess hall for visitors as well? Yeah. Okay, they allowed you in, didn't yep. they? Fair enough. Dash will follow him and go get some food. All right. This morning's meal is porridge with with one blueberry in the center. Oh my god. It's a single blue. I'm so minimalistic. How familiar is this site to me, given my background with you, the Phoenix you know Company? Gruel. You, you know, like, porridge. Okay. Yeah, you know, porridge, uh, you know like berries. Like, okay, you get a single berry. Like, uh, makes sense, ration for the whole for the whole fort. Just like the old days. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Back on the farm, instead of a blueberry, we normally had up having a strawberry. Mm, not as good as mom's, but it'll do. Maybe my phone bubble are just like, you know, okay, time to study. Studying. <laughs> Yar. Okay, so, Fell. Uh, Me. You read over your your kit, you and Bundle both, are you buddying up to study or is you always doing it on your own? Well, Bundle will definitely study with her if she, if she really needs it. I think I really need it. <laughs> Probably right. a good idea to buddy up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, you both get to roll intelligence with advantage. Oh, thank god. Alright, come on. Gotta do this. Not bad. Yeah. 21. Alright. So, Bundle, you pretty much get the idea that what you're going to be talking about, you remember you discussed that, okay, you need to negotiate, appeal to the to the commanding officer and whoever else is in charge about potentially opening up a, a, a trade supply line with the, the Fae Keep for, like, assorted magic crystals, uh, some rare precious metals pearls, and perhaps even some, uh, labor. some, some weapons and labor. And you also remember that there are, that you both remember there is the account of the release of elvish prisoners left over from the past conflicts. Wait, was that for this fort? I thought it was for, uh, Narlem. I think it was for all of them. Oh, they all have them. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Lease of Elven prisoners, trade, uh, trade of even, uh, of labor and weapons. <laughs> okay, okay. God, this feels like I'm actually studying. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Thanks. <laughs> and do 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 do. You do read that uh, your fake your fake capes with epaulets are considered traditional uh, diplomat uh, courtesy wear, and occasionally they've been known to actually increase the likelihood of good diplomacy, provided it is not an already agitated uh, diplomacy mission. So make sure to throw that on before going to the talks. Oh, I already had not that on. During, not during the talks. Yeah, like, I wear it like, I just wear it. It, it looks fashionable. Same here. Like, dude. Yeah. Capes Bundle's are in. got a cape with epaulets. It's pretty, it's pretty snazzy. Yeah, and I've got a cape. Also with epaulets. Yeah. Remember to use a flower berry just in case. 
Actually, Fell, you yes. might want to wear you won't might want to eat the flower berry. Eep. Okay. Wait, is Bundle. the flower berry good or evil? Bundle yeah, looks at it. Nods and says, uh, I, I don't, uh, this may sound weird coming from me, but when it comes to negotiations, we might want to use every single advantage that we have. No, I, I get that. I've done, uh, I've done some negotiation, uh, some trades and negotiations before. This is, yeah, we're going to need all, everything we can get if we're going to, if we're going to be able to do this. And all right. Knowing, no, we only got ten she hands him a right. yeah. She hands him a perfume berry. No, 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 no. You eat it. I thought we both were gonna eat it. If I eat it, it doesn't really have an effect. You need to eat it. Why is this suddenly right. a suicide pact? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my Damn it, Ryan. Since I already ate the berry, I know exactly how it works. Correct? I'm pretty sure I'm still uh, sleeping, so I'm not with you. Wisdom check. Okay. Hey, thank you, Evan. I know how it works. Okay, how would I explain it with a 15 in my wisdom? <laughs> okay, fail. So, so far, the only people I've noticed who affect it or affected by this are. The ones with the Y chromosome. <laughs> when I eat it. Like, they are only affected when I eat this. So, <laughs> if I eat this, uh, those with the X chromosome will be affected. That's, that's, that's a that's theory. theory. That's a theory. Wait, what? Alright, I'll eat it. No, I'm... <laughs> the Yuri berries? The, the, uh, she eats one perfume berry. Okay, uh... Her big deluge of crimson and pink petals just fall on top of her and... Uh... But Rania's not too bad, is she? Um, no. Uh, I think I'm... Rania's still asleep at this point. Yeah, yeah. she... Uh, um, she's um, yeah. sleeping yeah. in okay. I mean, all the guys... Like, some of the guys who are making the way mess up look at you like, What the hell was that? But they keep on moving. Hmm. Uh -huh. Are there any female soldiers among hey, them? Hey, yeah. Oh. No, actually, all men. God, <laughs> Jesus. You kidding me? Sexist. Well, uh, I'm sure yeah. there's some females at the burlesque bar. You can try it over there. I'm sure we have a few more flower berries. I can bark at these. I make more. Well, do we know how long the effect of the flower berry lasts? Shrug. I don't I would just say, eat one right as we're going into the meeting. All right, all right. Oh god, I hope I don't fuck this up. <laughs> I really hope. Bundle, bundle gives it. Bundle, bundle grabs her by her shoulders and says, "You'll do fine." All right. All right. One and you'll be fine as well. <laughs> one more intelligence check from you guys. With advantage, advantage or straight. Right? Straight. Okay. Oh my god! That, that 20! <laughs> okay, Bundle, you're like, okay, this, this should work, we, we got a plan. Uh, Phil, you're like, uh, uh, and you just think for a minute, and like, okay. This is a, this is a penguin kenku? She... A white she flavored likes, penguin kenku? She, she likes, she likes to use light fingers, um... She likes to touch people without their permission. I know. Um, one compliment, and that's all she gets. One compliment? All she gets. Like, you're like okay, she, she's enough by the book to where she, like, she already tore down the kiss asses, so maybe just one brief, light compliment will do the trick. Okay. One brief, light compliment. One brief, like, compliment. I'm actually writing this down. <laughs> Don't because we as players are have a short-term enough memory that we will immediately forget. 
I've forgotten what we're talking and about. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Felix like the bundle. Okay, I think I might have a. I think I might have a have a way to uh, have a way so we can. So we might be able to pass this. Uh, might be able not pass, but uh, set up the trade line. So, Commander Fayette, she's uh, uh, she already, uh, as we saw uh, down at the cl at the breast club last night, she uh, she tore down mm. all, all the ass ki uh, kissers, all those that gave uh, gave too many compliments. Hold on. There's, oh, oh, Bundle's not even here. Damn it. Shit. Fuck. Yeah. I'm also well, I'm kind of I'm kind of sad that uh, Rania didn't have time to uh, give you the dress. But yeah, um, that's what time would Rania wake up by? And ten. It's Eleven. Ten, nine, ten. Well, it's ten when the second check was rolled. Oh, okay. so 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 you probably would have time to give her the dress, but is it a emissary esque dress? That's a good question. I kind of changed up the dress from uh, the last time Fel saw it. You know what dress? Uh, I I sent you uh, what dress uh, it was. I think I forgot at this point. Let me see if it's, I can find it's it. Inside your DMs. Is it the first or the second one? The first one. Are you guys actually okay? Yeah, that. I don't um, know if that'd be an emissary dress. Yeah, that's more like a. That's, uh, that's a very formal. That's party a flapper dress. dress. Jesus. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I mean, it definitely would look good on her, but is it is it the dress I'm thinking about? No, it's, it's a, a dress. dress you would want to take to a nice party, probably. Yeah. Shit, shit, like shit, it shit, doesn't. Shit. Like it shows. Okay. Oh. Thank God. Yeah, I had to change the dress because you've already seen the dress uh, as I was playing on, so I have a different dress now. Uh, but it, it looks pretty nice. Okay. I want right. to be surprised. Hmm. All right, back. Are we unpaused? I can't pause. It's Twitch. Oh, okay. Hi. Are we untwitched? <laughs> Is Bundle here? Bundle's not here. Was here. And he, I'm totally here. Yeah, and you're lagging. You're just in the fifth dimension. <laughs> just, 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 just go. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, Felix, uh, uh, Felix to bundle. Okay, I think I might have a way, have a way that we could possibly easter, um, easter the, uh, this uh, in setting up this trading line. Okay, I'm all ears. Let's all right. Here. All right. So as we saw last night in the bur uh, in the burlesque club, she uh, uh, she uh, she was tearing down all those that uh, all those that were kiss asses to her and maybe gave one too many comp uh, compliments. Here's what we're gonna do: one singular brief uh, brief light compliment. That then I think you should be the one to say it. Because <laughs> no, no offense, uh, but me giving compliments it wouldn't mean anything. You, well, you have a wave of words. All right, I can do this. Keep setting. Uh, you guys just sort of. Get a, get a good couple more hours in. It's like, okay, we got... Let's get this. And this time, uh, oh, Rania wanders out. Yeah, she just, like, comes out yawning. Uh, now, uh, dressing in, uh, clothing in. Um, wondering where the hell the party went. Well, I you, you pop out. You pop out of the... You pop out of the barracks? Like, are you mm -hmm. out of the stairwell? Or are yeah. you just out of the room? Uh, I guess starting out out of the room, uh, since I'm, like, uh, ready to go. And, yeah, like, in the hallway, no one's there. It's pretty dead quiet. Hello? Hello? Nothing. Crap. They left me behind! It's a quiet place. Ah! Yeah, she starts, uh, uh running out of the barracks. It's like, ah! Where'd everyone go? I did oh. You see Bundle leaning on a wall, smoking a regular cigarette, and had it. 
No, well, no, you're still hanging out with Fel. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're yeah. outside under a tree studying. Uh, <laughs> I will say after after the girl, Dash will probably be idly wandering the outside. Oh, God, it's like college all over again. Uh, hold on. Uh, as long I as would as offer happens. you this. I would offer you this spell, but uh, you need to be uh, to crystal clear. Oh no! I'm. Uh, oh no! I was saying this as fell as uh, as a, uh, as a student myself. It is much more suffering. <laughs> what is a beast with a high survival skill? An ant? No. Don't say tap rope. Uh, not what I mean by survival skill. I mean uh, survival as an. I suppose it wouldn't matter because my stats will carry over. Okay. Pro um, probably stuff to think about after the session. Uh, I'm trying to have her find you guys. Uh, I mean, if you, I don't do you think walk it's... out of the barracks. Yes. You spot them. They're, un they're under a tree about 20 yards away. Oh, okay. I thought you, you said that. Wait. Okay. She runs no, over. No, Dash and Talik. I don't know where they went. I, I said uh, after eating, Dash would be idly wandering just around outside in yeah, plain view. Yeah. You know, a talent's going to go look around, see if there's like a, not like a blacksmith. If there's a blacksmith around, mm -hmm. all right. You do find one. You find a uh, Jen's. Uh, Schmidt. Come on. Um, Did we? Uh, you do find one. It is called Jen's Can Openers. Mm. Just a big old pile of smelted steel on top of like a big old straw, straw like housing hut. Huh. Mm. I see difference. Talent walks up. Anyone around? Yeah, what do you need? Ah, a mace, or maybe a sword. I thought you had a mace already. I do. You want the better one? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jeb's can openers. So this this face comes out, looks around, like, oh, I heard a voice. Looks down. Ah, there you are. I'll be right back real quick. So you need a mace? Uh, well, if you could do special customization. You are really quiet. Not uh, me. Nah, give me a few seconds here. I think you can fix the problem. How about now? Better. Okay. Uh, Talik will hold up his mace. Any chance you could uh, probably upgrade this to uh, maybe they'd be able to do both uh, slash and bludgeoning? Oh god. <laughs> You're asking for like a hybrid of a glaive and a mace? Uh, yeah. I think a bl basically a bladed mace. Like Sauron mace. I mean, I could probably get it for you in a few weeks, but that's a custom yeah, we're order. Not, we're not gonna be here that long, Talek. Alright, then, uh... You got any katanas? <laughs> Such weaponry, what do I look like? A man of fine taste? Touché. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I figure a blacksmith would collect all sorts of weapons and learn from them. Yes. Collect, yes. Sell, not really. Alright then. Thanks for your time. No problem. Anything else I can interest you in? Ah. Uh, a waist cape. A what? Uh, you know how capes are, but for the waist. This is a smith. Yeah. They don't do cloth, Talek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You're kind of looking more for like a fabric shop or like a, a tailor or someone rather than a or blacksmith. I don't know, a bl blacksmith waist cape would... <sighs> Ooh. I know. 
um, Charlie would pull hold out one regular gauntlet and the gauntlet of the Ronin, Ronin the God Tamer. Any chance you could probably have these sync up in a way? Or would that be Arcana? Looks, looks like. Hey. Hmm. Basically, make them matching. Yes. Yeah, that would be a few days' work, maybe five, six days. Which, mm. again, we're probably not gonna be here that long. <sighs> All right then. Well, thank you anyway. I thank you for considering business. Pleasure. Dalek proceeds to uh, turn and walk away and pull out the book of symbology to look up the Ronin, Ronin the God of Hurricane and find any information upon him. Alright, I thought you already did this a few seconds back. Okay, um. Yeah, I know, found out who he is, but I want to know more about him. Uh, you have a book of symbology. It's not really a book of history. Ah. It's not exactly a book of myths and legends, just a book of symbology. Like, it'll give you, like, it'll give you, like, a... It's, like, half an encyclopedia. It'll give you the basic, like, Cliff's Notes, but it won't give you, like, deep set information. Ah, okay then. That means Redport Library. Here I come. Mm -hmm. Yep, and meanwhile, uh, Dash has wandered out getting food only for himself, and then coming back, mm, that was a good meal. Do I realize that, food? oh shit, no one else was there? No. Like, uh, not the, until the, you get back and see them, like, hmm, they're still here. I am going to immediately rush to go get them food. So, Bundle and Fell, you see Dash, but like, hey guy, oh crap, just, <laughs> just running away. <laughs> like, <laughs> yep. And he time? will quickly get, get food for everyone else. And run back. Mm. Yeah, did Talik even get food? I think I was the only one who got food. <laughs> no, I so he's get getting four <laughs> bowls of food. I did get. I mean, you right. guys do still technically have rations, I think, but well, too well, late. <laughs> no, no, I, I did eat breakfast. I mentioned that my back home we normally end up having a strawberry and like. Okay, so three bowls like, of food. As good as my mom. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I get that, I'm like, <laughs> sorry guys, here. And just oh, hand them all oh. a bowl of gruel. Oh, oh, oh. Porridge. Oh, porridge. 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 <laughs> Fancy gruel. Mm, yeah, I misspoke. It's not gruel, it's porridge. So, okay. mm, there was a distinct yeah, difference. A bowl, a bowl for Rania, Fell, and Bumble. Hey! Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, yes, we forgot breakfast. <laughs> Rania adds, like, uh, five good berries to her bowl, like, mmm. Yeah, there's a kiwi in your bowl. Oh, what? Oh my god. Wait. Ooh! Thanks, I'm Dash! Kiwi the bird! Wait, what? Ah! I'm kidding. <laughs> it's one of the chicken's babies. <laughs> then what kind of a fair did that chicken have? Because, okay. <laughs> you got you want a couple a good berries to add to your, uh... You guys want a couple of good berries to add to your porridge? Uh, no, thank you, Rania. You need a better berry. How goes the studying? Uh, we have majority of it, one third, uh, one third of it down for now, and now it, uh, and now we're just thinking ways of how we could possibly. S succeed in this. What time is it by now? Uh, it's getting towards late morning. Well, looks like you guys will be up here soon, so should we start trying to go find her? Oh, uh, 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 Phil? I, um, mm -hmm. I, uh, she digs inside her pack and she takes out, um, she, she kind of wrapped, uh, uh, oh, wrapped the, uh, uh, wrapped it inside of a towel, uh, her towel. Uh, so it doesn't oh. uh, uh, want to get like crumpled or anything, or be less crumpled. Wrapped. Uh, I have something for you. Uh, oh. He um, uh, unwraps it from the towel and reveals 
to copy the link and send it to Panda. Yes. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. It's okay. I, yeah. I I don't uh, I don't know if it'll really help with uh, your your dealings with uh, the the, um, uh, the 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 CEO per se, but I I figured you'd appreciate it the sense you had your last uh, from run your face. Fell just the fell just like smiling what? really big like, oh Rania, thank you. What this you is amazing. Call? Oh, it's not professional clothes. I'm pretty sure that's something else. <laughs> She's muttering to her something like, "Oh, oh yes, uh, the, the, I'm I'm glad you like it. It's beautiful. Yeah, uh, I worked really hard on it, and um, uh, I, I I hope it helps you out. Thank you, R- R- Rania. Hmm. <laughs> okay. If I'll just hug her. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, it's back. You get a hug. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, hold yeah. on, just to check. Bundle, you still here? Later on, we'll need to have yes, a talk. Mm-hmm. But right now, you you, you get you got a big day ahead of you. Get go, 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 go out there and destroy people. Also, the dogs. Puppy. Yes. Puppy. Bundle. Go get them. I'm still here. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. We've moved along. I, I'm running out of uh, I'm running out of dialogue here. <laughs> uh, Feld then gets up and, it, and it gets up. All right, it looks like it's almost time. Uh, looks to bundle. Let's head out. Let's. Chewie to company. Um, <sighs> probably for the best if if you would stay back. Yeah, run your hose out of your hands like. I get the sense that it might be best if I stay far away from the situation. So, Very well. Please. It's, your, it's your show, then. I'm gonna go... I don't know. Cast more stuff on my uh, my uh, my better berries or something uh, while you guys are doing this. And hopefully not blow anything up. Have fun! Thank you. And puppy, goddammit. I'm getting ready the blue dress out of my... Oh yeah, we don't really know where the commander's office is. Huh. Oh. That is a... We can, we can ask around. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, survival checks from both of you. Survival checks? Right. Please don't let us be late. We're not even fashionably late. Okay, so Bundle, you get an idea that it's uh, the sort of Quonset hut-looking place that's towards the rear center of the of the fort pavilion. That's where you think you're going. But Fell's just kind of like, oh, I don't know where I'm going. I really don't. She's just following Bundle, and well, on the way she eats a perfume berry. Well, as we're going that way, I asked the nearest soldier where the CO might be located at this time. Alright, there's a guy just cleaning his, uh... his, uh, short story. He's like, oh yeah, you're gonna head towards the, uh, the pavilion. Over up uh, towards the rear of the mess hall and stuff. Uh, you gonna uh, hope there's not a line this morning, but uh, it should be fine uh, as long as you got your professionalism and your appointment all sorted out. Um, yeah, just to go in there, talk to talk to Mindy, and uh, get on in there. Much appreciated. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. As they're heading there, Felly to per- perfume berry. Uh, As you're walking there? Yeah, like... Okay, Yeah, like, good. not, wa- not while we're there, just... I'm just still a good right. quarter-mile walk, but okay. Uh, yeah, you oh, s- 
uh, like uh, as they need. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as they need. Take a quarter mile, you wrap yourselves around the mess hall. Uh, it's still a bit bustling in there, but you make your way to the pavilion. And there's this pavilion with like moss hanging from it and uh, some coat of arms. Hanging with a uh, an eagle's claw and a human hand crossing with like scratch marks, but a golden sheen with red with red drops of blood beneath. And you guys head on in. I assume. Perfume very in. Yes. Not As making you... a giant show of it. Yep. Uh so you guys head in. And there is like a, a bigger hall inside where it's like a, sort of like a city hall where there's like one direction goes somewhere another direction goes somewhere but you assume you're gonna head straight back like you just keep heading straight 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 and you head down a stairwell up a stairwell and finally you make your way to a an archway that says command command post and there's just a That's wooden me. door with a little gnome man sitting behind with just pince nez on his nose like the the earlobeless eyeglasses on his nose like mm, 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 just scratching away at some parchment and there is someone sitting off to the side wearing a riding cloak Wait, also is that the, the waiting area? Is that the same person that we saw from the bar area earlier? I don't know. Is it? Can I roll a perception check to see if it, if it is? Sure, investigation. Okay. Oh my! Of all the things, we're going to die. <laughs> Stop it! All right, you managed to just tilt your head out of the way, and as soon as you look. Through the window at the top, the light shines through, and it is a glints off that midnight blue mask. And you're like, oh yeah, I know that person. Well, well you, you, I recognize that person. I don't know that person. Are her guards there? There are a couple sitting, standing behind her. Well, what a bitch. Well, and the gnome. Scratch, scratch, scratches away, looks up. Huh? Oh, yes. Uh, hello. Can we help you? Can we help you? Uh, yes, I believe my friend here procured a audience with the, with the CEO. Ah, uh, yes, you had a business. Uh, she offered you 10, 15 minutes. Uh, she's running a bit behind. We still have to get uh, Ms. Bagaya in there first before you, but, but then we can, uh, but then we can uh, see about getting you in, squeezing you in a little bit before lunch. How do you spell that name? Okay. Alright. There are a couple waiting chairs along. There are uh, a set of five waiting, five chairs alongside the wall opposite the gnome's desk one of which is occupied yeah so I'm guessing we just like say thank you and just wait for our turn mm -hmm. pretty much yep all right you guys sit down uh, you guys take a look over at the uh, do you guys pay any notice to the other figure uh, yeah, Bundle obviously does. Okay, she is leaning oh, back, sort of lazily, like, like, like feet crossed, like moving up and down. She like leans her neck over the back of the chair, just all spread eagle. And you spy there is a jug next to her, and the cork is popped on it, and you give it with like. Whoa, that's potent whiskey she's carrying. And drinking. 
I point this out to Fel. And Fel's just like, she says nothing, but she gives him a look of like, the fuck? <laughs> like, uh, he whispers to her, I've heard of day drinking, but this is a bit excessive. You, you think? I mean, she's about to meet with the commander. And yet she took down like 15, 15 flagons of ale yesterday. Oh, please. At least 20, 26, maybe 30. Jesus! Oh my God. <laughs> okay. 8, with, 7, 6. With that yeah. knowledge. Between 23 and 31 mugs of ale. With that knowledge. Because you can't remember can if the I... bottom layer was 7 or 8. Damn. With that knowledge, can I determine okay. what this person is? They can't be human. Uh, try another investigation check. Not as good. All right. Um. I uh. You pay attention again to the jug. You remember the musket. You remember the outline of the outline of the pistol that is sitting on her side. And you remember the finger wrappings. You're like, oh, these things add up at all. And you remember the midnight blue mask that extends from like the top of her lip. To her forehead and covers everything up till then and it's square and there's even like a little like uh uh not frills but not tassels either but the uh what do you call it when like uh there's like frilled leather on the side it's i believe he has a specific Native American name, but I've forgotten it. Uh, um, it's not tassels. It's... We know what you're talking about when you say tassels. Yeah, but that, that's hanging down from the ma from the mask. Fringe? Nose. Fringe. Fringes. Yeah, fringe. It's hanging out even over her lips, and it's the same midnight blue color, but with like lighter sparkles and that, like. <sighs> and she like blusters and it moves a little bit. It's like. Lifts up the jug, well, takes, I... takes it, takes a two-second swig, plants it back down. Can, can I really quick roll a hit? Uh, roll something on the name Lady Bur, uh, Bur, Bur, Bur Burgaya. That name, Burgaya. Thank you. You can roll with disadvantage. All right, history. History. We'll do. Yeah, Five. you're you're racking your brain like. Gaia? Did I just not pay attention in history class? Okay, what do I know? I probably didn't. Okay. Oh um, my god! Bundle, how often have you hung around uh, cities or like other guards? Like, because beginning of the campaign, you were heading down from your jungle, right? Yes. Like you were just going there for a quick visit and coming back. No, it was. It would have been his time to actually go out and do his actual like fresh from the circus. Journey. Uh, we'll say a year from the circus, but leaving the leaving the jungle for his permanent uh, permanent outing. So it's your Romstein, more or less. Yes. Mm, okay. You're not quite sure who this is. You look at it and you're like. She is a royal, but not sure if she's actually royalty. That's the weird thing. She has a royal escort, though. Damn, he's with the mat. No, you had disadvantage because. Oh, okay. right, right, right. Because this is a meta gaming. Uh, this is a recent development. Fair enough. Well, seeing as how he, he can't make heads or tails of this this person, and the fact that they're acting like this, getting ready to talk to you, granted, she's probably of a higher status, but still, someone of a respectable air, it's like, I, I don't, I can't figure you out. And it's, and it's, and it's physically bothering him. Alright, and after about five minutes of just quiet anxiety, eventually the door opens, like, 
Um, uh, junior lieutenant. And the figure rises up, attaches the 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 jug to like a a loop on her on her belt. Like, I'm here. I'm here. Crick, crick. It's like okay. Just saunters on in. Just like, mm -hmm. Door closes and it's like, all right. The, and the gnome's like, mm, yes, the junior lieutenant is inside with the commander, and uh, and as soon as she is done, you will go in. Ye. Yeah. Understood. I wonder if you have enough time to do any last minute studying. Well, that is a good. That is a good point. Uh, he looks over the spell and says, "Oh, exactly what we're asking for, right?" Yes, opening up a trading line for uh, for magical cr uh, crystals, materials, po and possibly I wrote this down. Yeah, uh, and possibly trade of labor and weapons. And the prisoners. And the release of the prisoners. And I was uh, like, uh, I, for, I I like I wrote written that down. But I'm not sure that well, as it is, it's probably best that we play to their hand rather than try to strong on them with what we were sure that the elves really want. Uh, yeah. if, if we ask for things that might be in favor to both parties, we might have a better chance at asking for something more extreme later on. What do they want? Uh, want like... Well, open trade definitely benefits both parties. And this is true, especially the trade of weapons, because... And fey weapons yeah. are, are on, on their own. Even I wouldn't mind having my hands on something like that. Neither would I. Um, magical, uh, magical items, pearls maybe? But they have no use for that. I mean, it would be... Uh, well, I mean, it would be uh, able to open up trade to other forts as well. You guys look over your kits again. You guys actually notice you have two sets of stationery. Um, can I inspect the stationery? Oh yeah, you look at one, and one specifically has a quill, like wrap around, like a like a tie pin almost, and the other one has just a simple ribbon that says in Elvish, uh, for diplomacy. I pick up the one that says for diplomacy. Uh, you read a bit more uh, insight. Okay. Frick. This is not the time! Diplomacy? I'm a diplomat. Uh, I pointed out the foul. Um, do you mind giving me a hand with this? Oh, sure. What do I roll? Uh, insight? Will do. Oh god. The fellow gets the idea that this is... that you're going to deliver the stationery to the commander if negotiations go well. As their oh. direct communication line with the Fae Keep. Oh. Um, if the communications go well, we're going to, um, we're going to deliver this stationery to the commander. Because this would be their only connection to the fake key as means of contact. Communication. That's the word. Noted. And then finally Bundle says do you feel feel ready? Feel relaxed? He takes a deep breath. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm ready. You guys take one last look over your kit. You got the two sets of stationery, one for you, one for the... One with, wrapped with the uh, quill tie pin, the other one with the diplomacy ribbon. And then you got your own fancy pen. <gasps> oh my god. Like, it, it looks like it's made of glass. Like, like a glass shard. But it's perfectly cylindrical, and it, fine, and it, and it tapers down to a fine point. I actually like this. 
ink is a lot. It says and it ejects a deep blue ink. Mm. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Like those crystalline soaps you see at those specialty shops. Oh, that, that is, is beautiful. <laughs> Bundles just says out loud, and if, if whenever we get to get done with this, even if this thing runs out of ink, I want to keep it. It's too pretty. It is really uh, very beautiful. Seriously, the thing makes some. And right before anything else was to happen, I want to go. I want to, uh, I guess, freshen up would be the proper term. Like, make sure we're looking the part of diplomatic folk. All right. Uh, are you like asking for like a washroom or? Uh, yes, I'll ask him, does he have a place that we can uh, just uh, adjust ourselves and just to better present ourselves? Yes, there's a washroom down the hall to the right, and there's also just a, a mirrored hallway, just back where you came from. Alright, and uh, I tell Phil, I'll be right back. He goes right. to he goes to the washroom, freshens up, makes sure his fur is nice and combed and nothing too tattered looking, and comes back and sits down. Alright. Yeah, Bundle looks a mild bit improved when he sits back down. Yeah, Fel's gonna, uh, yeah, Fel's like... Not quite as much morning frizz. Yeah, shit. Yeah, Fel's just like, you know, maybe I should, uh, I should also freshen up. Uh, I'll be right back. Bundle because, uh, yeah, she's just gonna, she, uh, she's gonna fix up her hair. It was a little bit, uh, a little bit of a mess. I have to adjust it, readjust the, um, the epaulets and the cape, and cape make make sure that herself looks presentable. Mm -hmm. And as as they sit back down, he hands her half a ration to make sure her stomach doesn't growl during during the talks. <laughs> oh God, this is like this is real life nerves. Okay. <laughs> and now you have to brush your teeth. I have a water skin, just, you know, slosh it up the wall. Check for floss. <laughs> Alright, and after about 20 minutes of waiting, the doors open up again, and that blue-masked individual pops out with those still glowing eyes behind the mask. Like, it goes all the way up to her forehead, but you can still see there's, like, a, a glowing power behind that mask. Mm. Mm. Fare thee well, Lut uh, Junior Lieutenant Bergaya. Yeah, yeah. Not so enthusiastic. Rubs her temples. Oh, God. A little bit, little bit of a, a sway going on in her step. Just. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. Looks like we're heading back to Redport. Try not to harass too many traveling salesmen. They occasionally have really good booze. <laughs> Maybe we can hitch a ride. And she just saunters out. The other two guys are like, yeah, yes, 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 junior lieutenant, yes, yes, ma'am. Just says, do, 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 do. Oh, hope she doesn't beat me up again. And just, just keep on heading out. And it's like, ah, yes, uh, uh. We are about to head out on lunch, but I suppose you can have 10-15 minutes with the, uh, the CO. Thank you. Hopefully that will be all Thank the time you. we require. Alright. And we, yeah, we get up and head inside. Alright, so you guys head in through the big mahogany door. Mahogany. Mahogany. Pass, mahogany. Pass there's like a little wooden chandelier hanging above. It's a very rustic chandelier, but it's still got uh, like like little flashes of fire in it somehow. And uh, actually, I'm gonna cut away for a brief second to uh, Ronnie. You're gonna mess with berries on this off time. Um, are yeah. Are you just creating That's more right. better berries, or are you drew it, or no? Wait, you're gonna put ta cast a uh, poison on some of them. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, this uh, I. Still don't know what's 
bad berry actually does, so I want to figure okay. out that. Okay, you want to cast Detect Poison on it, or what are you going to do? Yeah, I'll cast, uh, I'll Ritual Cast Detect Poison. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, do I have to roll an Arcana or something, or? Mm, no. We okay. can roll with advantage if you roll the Detect Poison. Hmm. Okay. So... I, I don't think it's that... Like, the tech poison will tell uh, you if it's poison. But the Arcana check, you can, like, use more intuition at, based off of that. Okay. So would that yeah, be Arcana, Arcana would... or would that be nature? I think because you're using magic, it'd be Arcana, wouldn't it? Mm, it's nature based ma uh, Yeah, it doesn't matter. E either way. Okay. Either way, you have advantage. Okay. Okay. Uh, can... Can I use my uh, uh, my guidance during it, or do you just want me to roll no. it straight? Okay. Well, I get an advantage. So yeah. Oh God! <laughs> Thank that God! Is God. Thank Jesus! God. You do know it's poison. It is a poison oh. berry. Do and I know what kind of poison? In addition, within 12 hours, this will rot all the teeth out of your mouth. Oh my god! Oh, oh, no. No. oh no! The pain! Oh, the skeletons. The pain! I'm, I'm gonna call that the tooth berry. <laughs> the the anti-tooth berry! To be fair, as far as poisons go, that's mild. Yeah, um, oh, that could dude, be I've had, I've worse. Had, but I've had bad dreams of crumbling teeth. That is not oh, a yeah. good feeling. That is oh, nice please, feeling. I had a crumbling tooth in my jaw for a good <laughs> year. I had a, uh, my tooth was uh, was running from the inside out. And it, God. Yeah. Uh, Anything with teeth is an immediate no. no. I'm real glad I didn't ask Talek to try this. Oh God. <laughs> I would okay. Be like, now that I know, forever would need dentures. Jesus. Yeah, and I'll be sure that fuck too. This nice and oh. sharp so I can Okay, on. so I'm going to cast uh, Jude Cast on ten of the better berries and see what happens. So, yep. Arcana. Yep. Straight. Cool. Okay. So yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Listen, I can still get some pretty sweet stuff out of this. It's just doing it at random too, not even trying to improve them. Uh. That's the mark this said. Four now. Fifty-four better berries. Damn. Okay, uh, the, the berries shrink slightly, but they gain a sheen. sheen. And one of, them one of them deflates and pops. Oh, God. Oh. Rip that okay, berry. So I get nine of them. Uh, sheen. Berries. Like a light, okay. a light, a light, like, coppery, glittery sheen. Like nice. sandstone in the sunlight. Ooh. Ranya's uh, Ranya's magical berry factory. It's gonna be the new Willy Wonka of this world. Mm. Oh, God. I'm gonna do a ritual cast on uh, the sh uh, sheen berries with detect poison. So do I get advantage on this one or? Uh, no. Not. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's a six. You know it's not poison. Hmm. But I don't know if it's that. Oh well. Um, I'll have to figure that out later. I got nine sheen berries though. Okay. While all this is going on, Dash will try to see while waiting if he can get in on any sparring sessions with the soldiers. Mm -hmm. now, like if any spar training is going on, he wants to see if they'd let him join in on it. Don't break anybody. You're not there, <laughs> I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to uh, add forts to the list too now, aren't I? <laughs> Probably. Mm. Am I able to find people to spar with? Uh, roll, roll a roll a charisma. You can do it. Um, <laughs> nope. No, you can't. Yeah, they kind of like uh, can't. they kind of look at you being all huge and bulky and like got your 
your axes and stuff. Like, uh, no, 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 we're, we're, good. We're, we're good. The walking uh, armory that I am. <laughs> At least they're intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> Can I join it? Oh, no, 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 no. We're good. We're, we're good. <laughs> I am okay with this outcome. Yeah. Right, that's all I wanted to try. What's Dallas doing in the off time? Mm. Ah, he's just walking around. Walking along. I've got six total weapons on me. Yeah, I really can't think of anything interesting for to do for Tally. Hey there. Ah! <laughs> 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 Your tiefling friend's pretty protective of you. Uh oh. Oh god, she's actually there? <laughs> she's <laughs> chewing on a carrot stick like a cigar. Right, well, while this side uh, stuff's going on, I need to use the rest of the back. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Have fun, Talek. I'm not there. To... Oh. This, is, this is what I get for speaking freely about my mind, how Brett's playing at torturing us. <laughs> What's the matter? Carrot got oh, your yeah. tongue? Crunch. Uh, uh, oh, look at the time. Oh. I gotta get going. Tally starts to move already a bit slow, then stops running. Okay, <laughs> like... uh, roll me a dex check. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this works. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you lift up your, your foot too too high, and you catch on your chainmail and just fall flat. <laughs> that looked like it hurt. Let me help you up. Reaches down a, a hand. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You try and get up, but your foot's <laughs> caught in your chainmail. It's like. <laughs> Oh my god, you're a small wooden animal trapped inside a metal trap. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't even think a wish spell can heal that. For, heal for that. <laughs> I wasn't even trying. <laughs> I don't know if I should be laughing or crying right now out of pain. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I need a sensor for that one. Oh, fuck the sensor needs. I need a hug. <laughs> Did you say that? You need loud? a hug from pleasure? <laughs> Shut up, all of you. God. It's always pick on the cute little white bunny. It's always pick on the bunny. Not really picking on you, yeah. it's more... Hey, look, let's do something with Dalek. I've traveled down this path too far, guys. I can't go back. Alright, oh so she just... She just it grabs you by the scruff of your arm like, Okay, here, let me help. Now, relax. The train, hold on. She just grabs oh, yeah. the back of the arm. Okay, young rabbit, please relax. Okay. Relax your relax your leg. Uh-huh. And she just gives the armor a tug and your foot does loosen, you're like still off balance, but now you're standing straight up just like whoa 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 whoa. And she just pats both arms on your shoulders like there we go, just smooths them down the side. There we go. Nice. And upright. You guys can't hear the train. We can. Okay, I'm gonna close the other window. There we go. Two windows. The tram in the background is like doot doot. Oh yeah, that would be pretty close to us. Can you? Yeah, really? not really. It's it's far enough away. Uh, <laughs> fucking Love Lander boat come out. No, no, out that, of that's the sound of Talos' there. ears right now. Yeah. Doot doot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shut up. I know, but feeling I said, hello there, and all I could think of was just Lovelander bow out of nowhere, hits dash, dash, is <laughs> broken. I really love the Lovelander system. They're fun. 
Yep, so, uh, Talix, just, there we go. Nice, sturdy, upright, and handsome. Oh boy. Pat between the ears, pat, pat, dusts off the, the rest of you. Like, mm -hmm. So, where are your friends? <laughs> Come on now, be nice. Uh, you can talk. <laughs> well, I guess that, but where specifically are they? Long story short, I went to go to meet up with the blacksmith to talk some business, and then now I'm just checking the place oh, out. Oh, I know where you've been. <laughs> That's fucking oh. ominous. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness as fuck. And she was telling her says his head lowers and he looks towards his right looks towards his right with his ears just falling down with that face of shit, she's a star. I'm a quartermaster, dear. I have to keep track of all personnel and where they are at all times. You are new personnel. Chomps on the carrot stick again. So I need to know if your friends are where they're supposed to be. Not trying to break like into my stores of cook. Not trying to break into my stores of cookware. I think you can tell. Yeah, you you can definitely tell her this because like. And I feel like Dash would be one of the easier ones to find because he's at this point just watching the spar since he couldn't get in on. Play them. with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Is that to be a talking business with the quartermaster? No, Commander. Commander, uh, the Dragonborn. I think he's trying to get into some wrestling fights with the guards. And that uh, female halfling. Don't know where he or she is. She starts writing out, then stops. Like, hmm. You mentioned he or she. Thing. We don't know if it's just a regular curse or that Ronnie is going to revert back to normal self or stay as her. Leans in. Tell me more. <laughs> Alec, why? <sighs> that you're going to have to I normally trust a queen. Please. <laughs> Blink. I don't know it's a seal. Oh. You've gone and make, made me sad. Now I have to go and ask someone else for information I could have saved so much time on. Oh well. Starts walking off slowly. Crunch. 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 She's, she's, she's nibbling on the characteristic every time take a step for some reason in synchronicity. I like to think that every sway of the hip, uh, every every step she takes does a sway of the hips. Oh, she does. Yeah, yeah I figured. Not walking the opposite direction. Well, wow, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Dash, can I join yet? No. Can I join yet? No. Can I join yet? No. Join yet? no! <laughs> you can make another charisma roll. <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Yeah, do it! Do I feel it. like that's all Dash would do because he's fucking bored. <laughs> Please. And eventually, um, you weren't there, but uh, a little, a little blonde soldier with some freckles, like, uh, I, I don't think he looks too mean, guys. I, but, uh, what, 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 what's your style? Um, I, I I'm I'm down for, I'm down for. Like, are you a brawler? Or are you like? Martial weaponry? Or are you defense? Yeah, I'm, good for either, I'm good for either mark, martial training weapons or uh, hand to hand. So, so either martial weaponry or hand to hand. All right. Um. Uh, I could go with it for a wrestle. Okay. He starts uh, uh, doffing his weapons and just starts stretching in his Can leather find armor. Shit. Dash will. <laughs> Drop all of his weapons to a spot on the ground. Clang, 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 clang. <laughs> all right. So I'll just have uh, you roll a strength check. Of course. <gasps> okay, but you still managed to pin him. 
Uh, it, it's it's like a close one where it's like, ugh, ugh, this guy's pretty buff. Like he just like you attempt to grab him and shove him down, but he grabs you and actually holds good for a good six or seven seconds until he finally like just the, the inertia forces him down. It's like ah, ah yeah, I m misplaced my footing that time, I guess. Best of three. Hmm. All right, roll another strength check. Come on, come on. That's better. Oh my god. All right, this one is also supremely close. Actually, it's a tie to the point where it's <laughs> like you guys just you rush at him and he just moves his toe to the side, moves like his legs slightly to the side where he just gets a better like uh it's a better footing and just holds his ground as you guys are like <clears throat> So you guys are both stuck in the same like you, you wobble occasionally to like back and forth like an arm wrestling match but it's still mostly remaining center I mean he's leaning but you're still pretty solidly matched and it's mostly due to his, just his footing and his placement okay so is that like one to me one just a straight up tie mm -hmm. alright so one more one more match come on 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> oh yeah Oh my. And it happened again. <laughs> so yeah, oh this time God. this time he catches you off guard. He leaps at you in the air like a raccoon and it slams on you and it's like and you but you catch him and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he just starts pushing back at you, but you're like, nope, plant him my feet. Nope, no nope. It's not gonna go this way. And you've actually got you've actually end up on the ground together and you both got each other each other, but you just can't because you're at the slightly wrong angle. You're like a seesaw, that, like... Uh, 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 I imagine uh, that's where, like, the sergeant or whoever's in charge calls it. No, they're just watching, like, yeah, he's getting on his seas. Yeah, Mig yeah, Miggins is actually doing quite well. Roll again? Sure. Alright, one more strength check. Come on, come on. Uh, uh, See if we can break this tie, at least. Oh yeah, that time he runs towards you again for a leap, but you're ready, and you just swirl around and not quite choke slam, but like you grab his arms and then immediately pin slam him to the ground. He's like, no, no, and, but eventually, like, yeah, oh that, 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 that's that's two out of five, man. It's 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 two out of four. That's in a story, mate. He he's got the best of you. Dash will offer right. offer him my offer him my hand up. You're pretty good, though. Yeah, like, thanks. real good. The guys give like a light applause. Like, yeah, it's pretty solid. Wouldn't be surprised if you made a. Wouldn't be surprised if you made a high rank with prowess like that. Keep up, keep up the good work. <laughs> Just compliment him. Gives you, gives you a light punch in the show. Yeah, yeah. You and everyone else. Uh, meanwhile, we're gonna quick jump back to Felon Bundle. So you guys enter oh, through the through the big wooden door, the wooden chandelier up top, and there's Bergaya just in the corner, just just has a big old black pitcher in front of her, and she's just worth chugging away at some paperwork. And Wait, Bergaya or Fayette? Fayette. Okay, thank the you. The CEO. No, because you said Bergaya. I, I said I said big dark kettle. Crap. Oh. Yeah. Um. I'll check the archive later, but yeah, she's just sitting there with her a big dark kettle in front of her with uh, uh chugging away at paperwork. She's got a celery stalk hanging out of her out of the corner of her mouth, like she's chewing on it. Uh, it's a red celery stalk though, so it's like, huh. Huh. Well, interesting. Well, uh, do we approach or do we announce the restaurant? The door closes behind you as you guys enter. I guess we go forward. Bundle. He nods and ushers her forward. Alright, thank you. Yeah, I think Bundle's saying you're, you're on point for this. Oh god, no, why? <laughs> oh 
Okay. I mean, if you okay. want me to be on the yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, uh, yeah, she, uh, Fel, uh, uh, Fel, uh, goes forward, kind of like, you know, uh, giving a small bow to, Fiat, uh, to Commander Fiat. Yeah, she's got a big old book on the desk next to her that has, like, a pair of, a crossed sword and a, and a javelin on it, and she's just chewing away at the red celery stalk, and it's like... It, you get a closer look at her, she's almost an elderly Kenku, because from what you guys know, Kenku don't live much past, like, half a century long. Oh and my God. she looks quite old and wizened. Not quite, like, borderline elderly for a, for a Penku. Like, she's, like, got little tufts on the end that are kind of thinning out. Some um, like more seasoned. Yes. Her hooked bill has a couple of chips towards, like, the bottom. And, uh... He's just chomping on this big red cellular style. Like, grr, grr, unless he's busy shuffling away at the paperwork. Just scribbling and scrapping away at it. Um, g greetings, Commander Fayette. Crunch looks up. But... Alright. So, what I understand is you have business with me. What is this business? We come as emissaries from the Veiled Keep, situated in the Feywilds. Uh, shows the the emblem of, you know. High Priestess. The, yeah. And um, bundles are the same. We come in. Uh, uh, we come as. Hold on. Should I actually write this down? Where, uh, where it is it? We come uh, as you, emissaries. You come representing the no, no, Fey. No, uh, no. What we come representing? Gosh, it, it it was the real name that we were supposed to get uh, and give to. Uh, fuck it. You're talking about the high priestess's name, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like the name we were supposed to. I, I wrote this down. What? Y I Isley. The Isley. The Isley. 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 High priestess. Yes. I I pipe pronounce yourselves as emissaries of High Priestess Isley Highwood of the Northern Elves. Oh God. I wrote this yeah. down too, just in case. Oh, thank you. Yeah. We come as emissaries from a High Priestess. Uh, I, High High Priestess I Isley. Yeah. Isley Elwood. Of the Northern Elves. Of the Northern Elves. Thank you. I really should have written this down. She blinks and pulls the red star stuck over. Wait, you're here on Fey business. We are. The old elves. Red. The ancient elves. Mm hmm. Well, it seems we got quite a thing to talk about then, and we are going to end the session right there. Oh my god! I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I really here, I'll, am. I'll send you the notes I took. Thank you. I thought I wrote that down, but I didn't. Okay, then. Oh wait, I did. Oh wait, I did write that down. Fuck. <laughs> Still send it to me, please. <laughs> oh god, I'm. There you go. All right, and we did it, and we got done in just under three hours. Hooray!